Hello! What's up, everybody? We're here, back, in action, in a post King of the Ring world. What a world it is. We're all lucky to be a part of it. It's time to go back in time to 2012. Atlas, you had to be alive in 2012. Come on. Uh, yes. Okay. Actually, a year I was born for. Oh, me too, as well. So we're both same birth years here, confirmed. It is time. <laughs> and here, <laughs> here is a crazy, crazy, crazy development. The bag is back. Ow! It's back. I noticed it instantly. <laughs> I thought we, I thought we picked the wrong video. I thought the we were. The <laughs> bag is back. What? I don't get it. But let's just make sure, because okay, let's just check this. Okay, this is worth checking. So last week. Uh, let's see, where was it? We saved, it's in my downloads, downloaded video, as you can see. As you can see, I have enough Ask the King downloaded. Jesus. Ask the King 1229 is this. Lay up, motherfucker. It's, look, you see the dates there. It's not here. So yeah, it's just no a, a one month respite. But now it's back. <laughs> so let's go a good to- bag the, spot though, I guess. That's like, the designated- I, I guess, yeah, that's the bag spot. Is it the, hold on, is it the same bag? Now that's the question, that's a good question. Is it the same bag, Target style? It is, I think it is Target style, but what's in the bag? It is Target. You don't know. That is a Target style bag. Holy shit, man. All right, I, well then we go I'm thinking that it's like, it's a habit he does where he buys something, you know, for a long time, keeps it in that spot, finally uses or does whatever with it, and then he goes right, and buys the, the same kind of things and puts it there again, you know? <laughs> Yeah, it That's has a purpose. Spot. Yeah, it has a purpose. It has a job. Big ups to the bag. All right, let's go to current times. The bag is in full effect. Uh, this is January 26, 2012. Real quick, um, business style announcements. Of course, we're going to do the same thing as always. We will restream until a tip, and it is that fucking game again, my friends. Like a dragon. Yeah. Such a like a guy fan. <laughs> I love it. Here's a question, though. Because obviously, you, obviously, and tomorrow, that being said, by the way, uh, Atlas will be with us and we'll be going through our favorite moments from the interview. I know you did you watch the whole interview today, Atlas? What I did watched you do? the whole interview, yeah. Oh my God, yeah. We're not doing that style of craziness, <laughs> but we're going to watch our favorite moments tomorrow. Atlas will be there. That'll be pretty hype. Uh, but I would to ask you about, uh, in terms of, uh, let's talk to get us kind of in that mood of interview time. What do you think is a hidden gem? That we di don't don't explain everything about it, but what's like one your favorite thing, hidden gem that we don't talk about that maybe you forgot from the interview that you saw today was like holy shit, I forgot about this. Well, there it was there was a couple of there was a couple of parts where Keemstar is just absolutely flexing, which uh -huh. really caught me off guard. It was it was such a not thing for me at the time <laughs> when I watched it originally, and then. Uh, how hard the did you uh, find the restraining order part? That uh -huh. I like it, not a hidden gem, but yes. watching it again after the whole thing, I'm like, oh my god! Like out of nowhere, uh -huh. what from the top rope, left field? Yeah, yeah I was like, <laughs> why, why did he even say that? It it, it did it did a number. Yes. Yeah, right. So yeah, tomorrow we'll be doing the same stuff. Just re 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 going through that amazing interview for the anniversary, which is actually today, I believe. Right? It was the one year anniversary. Yeah, it was today. Yeah. So big ups everybody. Yeah, I do have a little bit of the drip going. You're right. I do have the drip going, guys. I went too hard for right. Chicken the Ring, Thank I think. Thank you for re-upping your membership. I <laughs> it's taking that. the toll, but uh, we'll get through it together. Chicken the Ring was a magical time. Uh, what was your favorite, uh, or, you know, whatever, you on your top of your mind right now, Atlas, a favorite song from Chicken the Ring this year? I, I'm not going to lie. The thing that sticks out about Kaching of the Ring the most to me was that bit that you and Snoo did for the B-sides. Ah. I thought that was the <laughs> funniest thing. If you want a hidden gem, I think it was that. The song's fantastic. I loved them. Big but ups, that bit yeah. had me cackling. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Yeah, that was... Uh, it, the more I watched it go through the highlights and, uh, you know, uh, Meerkat has all the timestamps up there now, so if you want to check out the timestamps. Some of those, hard, those songs, man, went way harder than I... The first time we watched them in the, during the show... Some of those songs, man. That Jamaican one where the dude's speaking 100 miles an hour doing the jokes. Oh, yeah, he Holy did the, the Informer. Yeah, yeah, I actually really like that song, <laughs> unironically. Yeah, Incredible. I love that. I, that was amazing, dude. That, that was, uh, there was a lot of awesome songs. So, But don't worry, I'll play them a lot on WPIG. So you'll get tired of them when, when I'm done. But uh, amazing shit this year, guys. Amazing. Uh, but all right, we're talking too much. Let's get to it. Ask the King. Who knows what he's going to talk about? 126, 2012, New Year in the house. Let's go. Come on. Lay up, motherfucker. 
What's going on, everyone? Oh, we were Welcome holding on that one. Uh, Ask the King for a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Got my bag back. This is actually the 20th Ask the King that I've oh, ever 20th, done. Oh, 20th, dude. Uh, since I was, you know, doing this professionally on YouTube. And, uh, <laughs> Bringing this back you know, the in the form of all day Q&A. Uh -huh. And uh, it's been a while, right? <laughs> remember some of the first episodes I ever did wondering if uh, what oh, I'm yeah. doing now on oh, YouTube the good old would days. ever work out. <laughs> and uh, here we are, you know, at the beginning of 2012, and everything is uh, looking pretty positive and pretty good. Oh, very um, positive. Pretty good. Now, one thing that I want to open with uh -oh. is what I'm, some of the questions I'm going to answer oh, in this that's week's a Ask the King, well, this month's Ask the, the King, King are common questions that a lot of people ask me all the time. And <laughs> oh, we, you know, we, it's been like a, a, probably a few months until we had that question berate. Remember that one where he said like, we yeah, gotta, yeah, he's yeah. like, you guys got to come up with better questions. These, these were not really good. I'm kind of worried we're doing that again right here. Let's see. <laughs> people seem to want answers from me, but I'm not going to make specific videos about every single question I get asked. That's why I make Ask the King. Yet it never fails. Uh -oh. When I do this once a month, usually the views are anywhere between ten to twenty thousand views, and that's it. So it's such a hot topic. <laughs> oh everyone's God. asking me about these things. <laughs> oh God, damn! Pity party for the views. I get like ten to twenty thousand views, so guys, and it's not gonna cut it, all right? <laughs> God. Jesus. <laughs> that was a problem even back then. Uh -huh. Come on. Jesus. Why don't they watch the video series where I answer the questions? And I can tell you right now, right off the top, we're going to talk about Acta and we're going to talk about <laughs> Mega Upload. <laughs> <laughs> This clip is not edited, everybody. Let's hear it one more time. We gotta hear about what? See, so right now, right off the top, we're gonna talk about Acta, and we're gonna talk about Mega Upload. <laughs> what was that? And I can tell you right now, right off the top, we're gonna talk about Acta, and oh, we're gonna talk about Mega Upload.com getting taken down. And these are common Ooh. questions. I have talked about some of them in other videos. Okay. But this Ask the King is the place to address these kind of issues, and so. Please, if you're watching this, obviously you're going to get your answers on my opinions on these things. But thank if God, see I'm really worried about foolishly that. Foolishly asking the same questions over and over. Foolishly, watch the right Jesus. Video, please foolishly, this video so that people could you know fools, what the quit we're speak, repeating the same questions, you fools. Over and over, okay? Oh, here, watch this episode right, of Ask so the King. <laughs> That's what he wants in this we'll guy. <laughs> but he doesn't even know himself. Okay. So you like just watch yeah. them all, and then you'll find your answer. <laughs> the then answer your question. Yeah me about this and saying, why aren't you talking about this is because, as you know, I was one of the first people to start talking about these internet censorship bills seriously. Oh, yeah. Uh, in what an innovator. In July 2011, I started talking about Act S.978. Uh, Amazing. Then I started talking about Pippa, Sopa, Oh, uh, shout out. Jesus. Shout <laughs> out. Sopa, <laughs> Pippa. That we've all been talking about this. We've gathered up enough uh, information and, and we got enough people informed that it finally hit the mainstream and those hey, internet censorship bills are now yeah, dead. Thanks, the DSP. You saved it. Oh, yeah, it was all DSP's all work. It was all you, brother. Number one, all DSP's work. Because our government doesn't understand how the We have DSP to thank. And number two, we're going to jail oh. for making Let's Plays and video game related videos. Okay? We're all relieved at that. We're all but relieved. There's another behind the scenes I was thing downstairs. Going on called ACTA that a lot of people are freaking out about <laughs> because no one really oh, knew God. about it until Sid What's Pippa ACTA? I've never heard of ACTA. And all of a sudden someone said, oh wait, what about this one that already passed in October <laughs> and no one really talked about it, okay? I have not talked about it and the reason <laughs> is it's not a big deal. And I'm going to explain to you why it's I not didn't a know big about deal. it is oh, what God. he said, this really. <laughs> this preamble, oh my God. How long can we go here? and why I think people do overreact about these kinds okay. of things, okay? First of all, I said this, I said this in No questions video, yet, everybody. Ask the King, it's worth mentioning. <laughs> no questions I'm not yet. I'm a political activist. I'm not a person oh, come on. who every single cause awesome. and every single thing that I see is unjust or not right or could screw something up. I'm not going to be the person to jump on my soapbox and start talking about okay. every single thing. Uh -huh. That's not who I am. I'm not running for wow. government. Again, I'm not a political activist. <laughs> I'm just a guy. Oh, we got that part. And, and Wait, is he a political activist? I'm not sure. Really yeah, I'm not sure. He hasn't said yet. I'm listening, though. Make a living while I do it. Okay. Now, in the case of bills like Pippa and Sopa, Pippa, that are Sopa. threatening yep. what it is that I do, and they also are directly related to my government here in the United States, and I can affect <laughs> things with them. So by me speaking out against these bills, I can drum up enough interest where people. He can really go. thinks it was because of him now. Look at that.
He yeah, really yeah, thinks I it's would, him. Yo, I was not playing. I wasn't playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they felt my wrath. Joke. <laughs> yeah, they felt my fucking wrath, dude. The government, and they can stop these yes. Exactly stop right. because I thought I heard him say we made it mainstream. Right. Right. I, I thought that maybe he didn't, maybe, but that's what okay. I heard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is oh. nothing like that. Okay. And I'm going to explain why. And I'm going to explain why I think people are a little pissed, but okay, they're, they're misunderstanding uh, how government works. Yes, okay? card. Yes, the, the biggest mystery is the the bag is back, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the bag is back is an in a big way, agreement huge way. Several countries, including Japan, <laughs> okay. the United States. Um, Anything else? Bag was just sick last so week. It's back on the job now. <laughs> Here's the classic Ask the King favorite. I have a list, but it stops at two, and I don't know where to go after two. So watch this. It's an international agreement. Here we go. Here's the list. Including Japan, the United States. Uh, um, I believe uh, uh, some uh, of the European Union actually rejected it. But there's a whole bunch of countries. <laughs> okay. Wow. So. We don't know about the rest. I believe uh, European Union. I, I don't know. <laughs> and I don't know. It's not something that. It's crazy how consistent that is. Always two. Always two. two. We, if he has two in his mind, he's okay. This is time to break out a list. But this time, I'm doing the hand thing. Yeah, that's a yeah. good idea. Congress or anyone like that can affect. Okay. Okay. It's not a law that's in the process of being made. Okay, dude. Speak up, I'm so done with this. Say, not even this a question bill. yet. Okay. It's nothing like that. It's I'm already out. Animal. It is an international. Oh, different animal. The Obama administration. Uh oh. Saint Paul. Oh, dear you, Obama. It's already passed. It's already in effect, and there's really nothing the American people can do about it at okay. this point. It's already been approved, and you can't undo that. Thanks, so, Obama. It is what it is. <laughs> now, here's the funny thing. Oh, oh, this is oh, the punchline's coming. Get ready. Here we go. Since October, yet have you heard any rumblings about, oh, man, this, uh, you know, this the, the Internet's been censored by the U.S. government, or the Internet's been censored by ACTA? No, because is that the funny part. In or? effect, ACTA huh? is ineffectual. ACTA is an international what? agreement by several governments to try to basically. I didn't take even down, hear a joke. Once again, <laughs> in effect, <laughs> it's in in effect, it's ineffectual. <laughs> okay, okay. And websites and, and other All things right, that are doing piracy <laughs> through different. Yeah, things. I was going to say that's it. The one for the funny part. <laughs> Too long. International agreements like ACTA <laughs> yeah. are largely completely ineffective, not even able to be enforced because, number one, who's going to enforce it? There's no international body that's responsible for doing this kind of stuff. Okay. In the U.S. government, no one was appointed to enforce this stuff. Why do you think, if ACTA was already in effect, why do you think that the Senate and the House of Representatives were still trying to pass I don't know, dude. SOPA? Because they know that's ACTA That's a great is question. Uh, it's sorry. 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 <laughs> Got. Sorry guys, I'm out. It is kind of amusing that this guy is telling me about about the government for some reason. It's insane. Okay. Oh, nice. Or it's not All a big right. deal, okay? It's completely It's not a big deal. Here's 20 minutes. Eight minutes in. Like America actually trying to pass an enforceable law uh, to assess the internet. And, again, people with knee-jerk reactions who don't have any understanding of well, the, law. The, the, the Target bag definitely needs a card now because it has a character of its own, Willie. So, Willie, if you didn't know, last month the <laughs> Target bag was gone, but now it's back. Now that's the mystery. How long, how long a life does this thing have? We don't know. You know, let your th th storylines build up in your mind. The si the probably like he knocked it down on accident, and then like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, it oh had, shit, it had, it had its time on the floor, <laughs> yeah. and it finally got to come back up on top of the desk. Uh -huh. it, it got to remain alive. Very uh -huh. cool. Very cool. That's, that's probably the real story. <laughs> All right, come on. It's been done with it. Obviously, because nothing can be done with it. So I'm going to wipe out about this. Okay? Now, that's why I did a video specifically about it. It's not a big deal. That's why hey, the bag is determined, though. Here's <laughs> Phil, completely ignoring ACTA and just playing video games like business as usual. Who did that? Responsible asshole. Yeah, that guy got blocked because he's a fucking idiot. And he's completely ignoring Wait, wait, wait. Huh? So here's oh, Phil. It's comment. Oh, someone left a comment. Completely ignoring ACTA. I'm just playing video games like business as usual. What an irresponsible asshole. Yeah, that guy got blocked because he's what? a fucking oh. idiot. And he's completely he was that upset about he's that? Uh-huh. Uh, 
if you're gonna be like that, you will be blocked, and I will ignore you. But oh my God, there are people who back in October they knew about Acta, if they knew that it was gonna be a big deal, they would have spoken out then. So don't worry okay. about it. All right, all right. People just nobody talked they, about they it, so it's not that big a deal. Battles, especially when it comes to political activism, because there's always gonna be a bill you don't agree with, a movement you don't agree with, someone in power who's saying stupid things. Yep. You have to pick and choose your battles. The battle against internet censorship. With Didn't he say he's so not a political well, activist? But he says if you're gonna be a political activist, you have to pick and choose, which is yeah. what he's doing. Pick your battles, dude. I don't know what he's but talking about. Ain't that no? Logic just ain't ain't, ain't, ain't okay nothing. For now, at least in the United States, I don't know about. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> okay, I think we're fine here. All right, now question time. Oh my god. Holy well, mega, shit. What's, what's mega up? What are we going to talk about mega upload for? That was a uh, web uploading style website that was like you could upload anything you want on there back Jordan in the day. Sweet. Mega uploads take down. Does mega not exist anymore. Do I think it does, doesn't it? Did it get taken down? I, thought, I used Mega not that long ago, but sometimes that just, you know, those things just disappear. Yeah, it doesn't. It's still around. There we go. <laughs> Hong Kong style based yeah. company. There we go. Had absolutely nothing to do with internet censorship. Mega Upload was a website who was proven to definitely promote piracy. They knew they had copyrighted materials on their website. They had repeated takedown notices from copyright ah, holders. Okay, real quick, a little bit of uh, upload, a little hit backstory here. In two th January 19th, 2012, which was like, you know, seven days before this or eight days before this video was recorded, uh, it was seized uh, by... The U.S. U.S. indictment accusing Mega Upload of harboring millions of copyrighted files, uh, and so the website got taken down for a little bit at that time. So obviously, it you know got back up, but uh, at this time it's still down in Phil's life. So that's what he's talking about because uh, the government didn't like that, you know, all the up co yeah, copyright yeah, yeah. material, all that shit. But it's still up today, so it must be fine. But let's hear what happened. They refused to take down the content and or were just lazy about doing it. Unlike YouTube, where, okay, YouTube, they get a copyright claim. They're a little bit on the flip side. They will take down something. Oh, more yes. Yes, he said it. All right. Remember, Batless? I don't know if you don't remember this, but I've been waiting two weeks for this. He finally said flip side. You heard it, right? Let's oh, hear this again. Yeah, yeah. Let's hear it again. They get yep. a copyright claim. <laughs> They're a little bit on the flip side. They when he says flip side, now we can do this, my friends. Flipside boys, hell yeah! I love it. I love it. I love hell it. yeah! And look, he looks very weird when he's flipped. Look, it's weird. In the in the last clip I made, I actually flipped him, and it is he's always looked so much worse flipped yeah. for some reason. It's very odd. Something more often than not. Because they're afraid of getting shut down. Mega Upload just didn't care and very rarely took stuff down. Okay. And it's the flip that, side. We're still the flip the side. Who the website were laundering <laughs> money through it, meaning they had illegal funds right. that they there were we trying go. We're to back. clean up through this website. It was a complete I think it lasts mess. 30 seconds. It was completely illegal what they were doing. <laughs> I that love website it. deserved to be <laughs> shut down. I applaud the FBI for doing it because that website. Is the kind of website that that, that that is how it should get shut down through the FBI doing an investigation over oh God, a period of time. Don't make me do it again. And then attacking individual websites and infringing copyright. I'm worried this is the whole video. <laughs> this is the worst episode yet. I heard about them. All right. Okay. I heard that. Now let's get on to some. More questions that were specifically okay. submitted by fans. I wanted to get those two big topics. Oh, thank off God. That everyone's been asking Ooh, me about. Everyone's asking. Everyone's been asking. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Here a lot of people they were asking. Okay, we are 12 minutes this into the video. From the Gamer Holic. Gamer Holic, dude. Phil, would you ever consider branching out your Hateful Truth review series into reviewing your latest films? I believe this would be Ooh. popular because I myself and a lot of others enjoyed your reviews of Inception and Iron Man 2 in 2010. Uh, you know, they wouldn't have to be 20 minutes long, like with the video game reviews. Something we know he would do in the future. Let's we'll see what he thinks what now. Think? Hmm. Well, here's the thing. Number one, uh -oh. okay. Uh oh. It's a little bit harder because if I were to say, let's say I were to review a movie that's in theaters right now, I don't even know what the fuck's in theaters right now. Well, let's say. 
I would want to use visual aids. Like, I would want to show you the movie poster. I would want to use music okay. from the movie. And it's a okay. gray area right now whether or not you're allowed to do that. Okay. Without permission, okay? Now, Picture. Some of these movies actually give permission to review shows. Okay. And some the don't. movie poster they probably have outside. Uh, right now, yes. Excuse me, that YouTube has a problem with you using copyrighted imagery. And being that I am partnered with Machinima, it, it is, he's just lazy. Uh, he's just too lazy. Wow. Let's get skitties. Let's get. Let's go a spade a spade here. <laughs> yeah, he's really scraping for that one. I can't use the the poster. Uh -huh. If I were to put a video up like that, with it might be an issue with copyright infringement yeah. issue. Okay. Uh -huh. I could easily just do a review and just talk about the movie, but there would be no visual aid. Just like with my Hateful Truth game yeah. reviews, where I, do I, that, I'll then. be honest with you, I don't have time to do the extensive video editing I used to because I'm playing so many games. Uh, I wouldn't have time many to do games, video dude. editing. So I could do just an <laughs> all kind of review for movies without any visual aids. I could. Problem being with that, I don't go to the movies that much, if ever, anymore. Because uh -huh. number one, the movies cost an insane. We got a list here. How many? How many? How many? How many items do we have on this list? Go ahead, Atlas. Uh, I was uh, two. Two is how many <laughs> items? I was gonna say this just shows just uh, how narrow-minded he was back then. Like people are asking you, "Hey, movies," and all you have to do is go see a movie every once in a while and put yep. it together, and like those people that are gonna watch that, and you're gonna have a thing that you could do that's not games. Like, yeah, no forethought. And let's not even get, let's not even pretend. He's watching more movies than most people on Blu-ray. You've seen his Blu-ray Oh, wall? yeah, he's got a billion Blu-rays and DVDs. <laughs> and like, he... bro, just talk about any movie and that person who wanted to see that would be satisfied? Yeah. I don't get it, man. Salute Your Snort says, Piss Skull, <laughs> Pig Skull, and Rebert. Absolutely, that'd be a big seller. Money, Blue your snorts, stupid. big ass, with the El Cheapo card. I swear nice. to God, I'm not. I'm joking. Every time I go to see a movie, what? there's some obnoxious asshole on his phone. There's someone making noise, laughing. It's annoying. It's not an environment. <laughs> Karen, <where> you... <laughs> excuse me, sir. Can you put your phone away? Asshole. God, <laughs> he's not saying that though. You can sit there and enjoy the movie a lot of the time. All right, that was two items. Here, come back and, to the uh, stream and say it. To be honest, they're just they're <laughs> a lot of movies that I'm enticed to see. I don't like movies days. anymore. Um, ah. I actually have been much more. I've gotten much more enjoyment out of just waiting a couple months. The movie's on demand. Hey, here we two go. Months since it's in theaters a lot of the time. Blu-ray boys. And I get it on demand, and I watch it in HD with my surround sound system on my own couch, relaxing, and I enjoy the movie a lot more that way. Okay. Now you can say, "Well, Phil, why don't you, you can review still the review those well, movies just late though?" Already, yeah. So why would I review them? You know what I mean? So, so okay. he's just full, day one views. Yeah, he's just still day one <laughs> views time. If it's not day one, I'm not doing it, motherfuckers. If there ever is a change and I do start actively seeing movies again in the movie theater then maybe I'll start reviewing them but the thing is I just haven't been going to the movies okay, okay. got it, got it. Great next question. question this one is from Shearer21 here we go come on he says I have a couple of questions first of all do you think if you never had any problems with copyrights or trolls, <laughs> uh, and you had stayed on your original Dark Side Phil channel on YouTube, uh -huh. you know, not the DSP gaming one that I use now, but my original one that got, um, got yeah. unfairly shut down by YouTube for false copyright claims in 2010, uh, would your opinion of YouTube, the gaming community, and your attitude to gaming, etc., still be the same, or would have anything changed? I don't see how it would have changed anything, but what I would say is, and I'll be honest, what? that channel at the time that that happened had massive momentum, okay? Oh, okay. God. An exponential number of subscribers. <laughs> exponential. And when that happened and it got shut down for a month. No one cares. Come on. It kind of stopped, and I had to start over with DSP Gaming. Now, uh. I retained the subscribers that I had. It wasn't like I lost anyone, but... In the growth that I had, the momentum I had with that channel, yep. brick wall. And so if you... All right. That's a brick wall symbol. Growth brick that wall. I had, the yeah, yeah. I had with that channel, brick Boom. wall. <laughs> and so if you were to ask me what would be different, I'd probably be even bigger on YouTube oh. right now. I'd probably be in those top spots on YouTube along with those other people, you know, who get listed under the gaming channels all the time. Hell yeah. And uh, it's it a could have been me, I, dude. I, I, I'm not. But there's really nothing I can do about it. It got shut down. Uh, and it did stop my momentum a little bit. So that's really well. Cool. The reason it got shut down was from your own behavior. So there is something you could have done about that. Not done those things that were against TOS. But you know, that's just an idea. 
Uh, you sound like a detractor. <laughs> okay. Only thing I think would have changed. I probably have double the subscribers I have and way more. That's like saying, like, okay, I murder someone, I go in jail. Then in jail, I said, like, well, I mean, my career was going on the up and up. Then I hit this kind of brick wall. <laughs> you know, I was thrown in jail, and th that really stopped my growth. Now, ev yeah, everything's, uh, like, I'm just kind of here now. Nothing stagnated. I can do. Nothing I can do about it, you know? So it kind of <laughs> sucks. <laughs> that's what that's what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> big ups, Grivis. Skidman says big ups to those unused lint rollers again. Oh, those have been, oh those are going anywhere. They're not even those getting open. Those are forever. Yes, they you might as well staple those to <laughs> yeah. the desk. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, on another note, what are your thoughts on Minecraft? Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, up. what are your thoughts? I know you've already addressed this, but with the amount of new subscribers that you have, and with Minecraft being such a large part of the online gaming community, yeah, what are your thoughts, dude? I really want to know I about have this an one. Issue with that statement, but anyway, yeah. I think we should readdress this. Thanks and best of luck for 2012. Minecraft, yes, it's popular. Is it a massive part of the online gaming community? I kind of disagree there. I think uh -oh. that Minecraft has okay. a very dedicated <laughs> fan base, meaning people get hooked small on small fan base, dude. Get hooked on World of Warcraft, Super you know, it's that style oh, yeah. of game. Real niche, Minecraft. You can do Minecraft, World of Warcraft, you know, a few hundred players, dude. Who gives a shit about those games? <laughs> Jesus Christ. How much more L can we get with this take? We've already hit the <laughs> maximum L. Let's see what happens here. Has a very dedicated fan base, meaning people get hooked on it. Just okay. They get hooked on World of Warcraft, you know? It's that ah. style of game where it's a sandbox. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> sandbox. You get playing it for hundreds of hours, okay? And uh, I think that's like it's fun or something. Really likes the uh -huh. game, are extremely dedicated to it, and they love it. Uh, the flip side, I'm gonna oh. say there's a whole mainstream movement of gamers who have no idea what Minecraft <laughs> is. Nice. So it's very, it's a, there's a dichotomy there, okay? Dichotomy. Um, what do I think about <laughs> it? Again, I, it's a game that really you will game. spend hundreds Got of it. hours on it, and just, you're just fucking around, okay? <laughs> it's not a game that has one set goal. Now, what I've heard, and it's just fucking it's around. Over, like that's not every that. other game though, uh, really. Just yeah. fuck around. It does have like a final boss, a final boss, even though the game doesn't end once you beat it, um, once you beat the boss okay. or whatever. Like so, it did give some linearity to what you're doing in the game because that was a major complaint about people who weren't playing it were saying, "Why would I play it? It's like World of Warcraft. I could run around for hundreds of hours doing shit, and it still never ends. There's no end goal. So I guess the end goal is to beat this boss, even though you can do that and still play. For oh my god. Hours. For me, that kind of game it's is like he just doesn't shit. understand how a video Einstein game works, no. like fundamentally, like for fun and to, to, to just enjoy game, yourself. It's a journey. It's a what story the fuck? that starts and ends. It's the same reason I'm not playing World of Warcraft because, like, yeah, there are people who like that, but it's one kind of following that's not really what I'm into. I'm not used to just sitting there and playing a game for hundreds and hundreds of hours and there's no definitive ending to the game. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't see the point in trying out. Does that mean I will never, ever, what ever, the ever, fuck? ever, in any instance, ever try Minecraft? No. <laughs> but I have no interest in doing it. Okay. At this time. All right. Sounds okay. good, so, dude. So much time I got left here. What? <laughs> I don't remember the question. I don't remember why we got here. But he's not interested. He might play it sometime. Okay. Whatever. Still got some good time. All right. Dear Phil. I love the company called Double Fine. Oh, I missed a question. Don't know their game developer, very popular game developer, uh, but they don't listen to their fans and make sequels. Do you think Double Fine should make sequels to games like Psychonauts 2 or Brutal Legend, or, or Psychonauts or Brutal Legend, or should they continue to make different games? That's from Master of Awesomeness. Now, this is an interesting question. Is it? It's completely the flip side of oh, the God. situation that's going on with most major gaming studios. <laughs> nice. these days, which is super it's, it's so fun, but no. A good addition. <laughs> IP. Oh God! Look at that. That was a oh shit. We're going in deep. Corner demons coming out. Jesus. The eyes getting picked. We're going in hard Bottom here. Pick. That's that's a rough spot to find yourself in with the corner demons. Get the fuck back! Oh, shit. <laughs> Waking up, dude. Big ups consortium says I absolutely love WPAG. It makes my work night better. Big ups, dude. Love you too. Ups. And uh, let's get the eye pick. I pick. I pick and see where it goes. Is it a wipe style thing or what? Come on. Let's see. Oh, shit. Mute. Unmute yourself. Hold on. Here we go. Gaming studios these days, which is sequelitis. Instead of <laughs> trying to take a pick, risk. Pick. Oh, a God. Interesting IP. Oh, no. Wipe. I think it's a wipe. Like yeah. A new game, a new series. They're all just going to what they know are, are tried and true money makers. Just take a look at 2011. Okay. You had they can look. Uncharted 3. You had okay. Modern Warfare take a look. 3. You had oh, the bank. Just, Let's just go. Batman Arkham City. Scott, City, which, like you game. know, it's just in the same line of games that have already been out. Every major release was a freaking 
sequel. And oh, the, come the on. IP is the few wow. and far between original IPs that came out, like Shadows of the Damned, like Catherine. These are cool, Catherine. cool the original games. A lot of them got overlooked. Uh, Shadows of the Damned was a horrible in the sales numbers, even though it was one of the best games of the year, in my opinion. And it was well done. Uh, people just ignored it because they were like, oh, what's that? Oh, I'm saving my money for Modern Warfare. You know, that's, that was the mentality. <laughs> what's that? And that's a shame because if you don't mm, give people a People wanted to play the game they wanted to play. All right. If, if the mm, what's that? experiences are interesting mm. and you're actually going <laughs> to stop these studios from creating new IPs and you're stifling originality is what you're doing. Okay, whatever. Hmm. However, that being said, okay. you have to remember hey. that right now, especially <laughs> in the United States, it's a very bad economy. Oh, Not a lot of always have a lot of money, perpetual bad so economy. Their money for what they feel is going to be a sure shot. I've never or, heard anyone know, say it's a, a good economy. And never. Game. And so <laughs> taking no a ever shouted IP, that like one out loud Dance versus spending it on an IP that you know will be good, like Uncharted 3. I can understand why some why a lot of people do that. So definitely, it's a bad time. It's actually a very bad time for originality. Now, for Master of Awesome's question, this um, it's it's a different situation. Double it's such a weird sentence. It's a, a bad time for no, originality. Uh, uh, no, we, games. we don't <laughs> originality want sucks now, dude. Twenty sequels of our games. Sequels and on the way, dude. Like, originality. Well, that's fine. Nah. You know, yeah, you're right. Doomside does sound like a waterfall is here today. The background, it's a waterfall. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going insane. No, yeah, it definitely sounds <laughs> no, like a waterfall. A lot of the games you guys make are really good, and we want to re re revisit those worlds and revisit those characters. And Double Fine basically says, no, we do what we want. So no. I applaud them for their originality. I applaud the fact that they're doing well just making new games, and they're not going into sequelitis. Then again, maybe there does need to be a little bit more leeway. You know, oh, with come a on. Like that, maybe you should have once in a while say, okay, we did really well with this. Let's strive to, to, to revise that story and make the game better. I personally would like to see sequels to great. some of the really good Double Fine games, but I'm also okay with them just continuing to make really great games. In my opinion, as All right, as they so either great way, games, sounds good. Yep. Put it that. That's okay, it. got right, it. I should have time for one or two more questions here. <laughs> Next question is. <laughs> Hey, Phil, uh, you recently talked a lot about branching out, so he's got two questions for me. First yeah, movies, one is, right? if a game developer asked you to do a voiceover oh, no. for their game, would you ah, consider Ah, voice it? acting, Phil. Absolutely. I actually... Absolutely. I would think that voiceover work is probably pretty interesting and probably <laughs> rewarding. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds pretty fucking easy. You just talk. <laughs> it's something you'd love to do that. That would be something that maybe I would like to get into in the future. Uh, uh, Phil, uh, by the way, just in case anyone knows, Phil has done some voice acting work, not counting during his playthroughs, which you know how that goes. Uh, voice acting... He acted in Larry Bundy's uh, little internet movie. And Larry Bundy himself said he had to call Phil back and say, could you please try to add some emotion in this? Uh, because it was I so never horrible. never heard this. Okay, here, so I'll play it now. And uh, here it is. It is There's like a dragon. Right? Survive Street treats you again. He said, would you, would you the opportunity to voice act? I've already said in the past that would probably be pretty fun. Yeah, you did say that. We are a real gamer. Deep down inside, there is a real gamer in all of us. Well, if you feel that way about it... Holy shit, what's this? Yeah, honey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's this? Is he voice casting for someone's, like, video? Holy shit. That... That's not what I meant. WWE oh, I, thought, I thought this was the video. No, I no, no, no. unaware. <laughs> oh, my God. He, he, he did a... He did, he voice acted for someone's video here. I'm looking at the, it's WV2K4 created story by Real Gamer Era by AMC Game Ant. Holy shit! Hold on, hold on, hold on. It, hold on, let's search this guy's channel. This guy, this guy made a video with DSP acting in it. <laughs> what? And what is this channel? DSP tries to gamer talk live. All right, all right. Anyways, live. Okay, let's just watch this in amazement. Okay, so let's go back to what this is. Dark Three Stars and voice acting style real. Let's go. I never see the first one. I've seen this one here. I watch mine because I know this one. This was uh, his part in Larry Bundy's little animation. Let's watch that first. Then we'll do the the wrestling one. Reports the same exact piece of news four days later. Did you hear? Joe's Rat Burgers actually contains lizard meat. Oh man, I'm so angry right now. I'm gonna flail my arms around for no reason. Forced anger! Banish him! That was it. Wow. Banish him! Banish him! 
That was his acting, and he was so bad that Larry had to tell him to do it multiple times more because there was no um, there's no emotion there. <laughs> so, I don't know how you get less emotion, and I couldn't <laughs> imagine the originals. Holy shit! <laughs> well, I never seen this first part. Let's watch this. With all due respect, Mr. McMahon, <laughs> this is bullshit, and you know it. Oh. <laughs> I've been doing gameplay playthroughs since the very beginning. <laughs> I am the only average Joe gamer on YouTube. Everyone else just does it for money. I should be <laughs> champ by default. Not what fighting against fuck? that pro troll Kane. Everyone saw how I beat down Kane last week on Raw. <laughs> this is amazing. The <laughs> reason I lost because I couldn't see the rules anywhere. Nothing I can do. Due to broken match mechanics, <laughs> what the I believe fuck? it is only fair that this, I no, it's too old. This is too old to be AI, guys. This is that too old to be AI. I could do is so good. <laughs> this is not AI. This can't be AI. I mean, listen. I was telling you the first one. This part I want. I the one. This one I played here. This is definitely not AI. This is like from like seven or eight years ago. So, but this one, it's too real to be AI. But why would he do it? Hold on. I I legit can't I, tell. I can't either. It's clipped together, like, how? How? No. It's not, yeah, it's not funny enough to be, like, AI either, because I think they go deeper into shit. But they are saying some meme stuff. That's kind of weird. Big up, Sikorsky Vice President. Can you monetize us more? I feel like you should be putting more ads in your content. Big fans since Heavy Rain. <laughs> oh! You know, people, a lot of people were saying that they want to see more ads. So maybe I'll do that. Big ups, dude. Good suggestion. More ads, now, more Heavy Rain. A roll. tried and true strategy. <laughs> uh-huh. Troll Kane. Everyone saw how I beat down Kane last week on Raw. For some reason, <laughs> this is I him, though. I this is him, not AI. Anywhere. Nothing I can do. Due to broken match mechanics, Dude. I believe it is only fair that I should be champion. You can't do this. I'm that that belt belongs to me. <laughs> Anthony, who? Oh, you mean Kane's friend Amzervs, uh, whatever? Oh my god. He's just a hater and a nobody, and he lives off other people's fame. He's also lucky that blocking and reversals weren't working for me. Otherwise, I would have knocked him in the next week. You know, I'm sick of these two haters spreading lies about me. What the fuck? Because they're jealous. <laughs> they keep bullying me, and I'm tired of it. You know, I'm going to end them once and for all. What are you doing here? <laughs> Nobody can even pronounce your handle, let alone take you seriously. Get out of my ring. Uh, don't worry. Neither of them are going to make it to this Sunday. Is that Leanna? Just be careful. I don't want anything yeah. to happen to you. Oh my god. What? Going to make it to this Sunday. Who's this? Just be careful. I don't want anything to happen to you again. Nothing will. You just focus on Kane on and my I'll girl. handle Anthony. <laughs> of course it does. Screw those guys. They ballsy shirt. No, no, no. This is not. I don't think it's AI guys. Cause look, this this dude has stay ballsy right. shirt on. Thank you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate like this that. is this. There was some some love put into this, and like it's not that funny enough to be AI, right? I don't think that was Panda, by the way. I mean, like, <laughs> no, no it, it didn't guess. sound like Panda to me. No, 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 that was not Panda. <laughs> this was posted last year, so I mean, I guess it could. PSP is thrown out of the ring. This isn't over. <laughs> I? I was too easy on you before. A mistake I won't make again. You better watch yourself, Kane. <laughs> oh my god. It's too it's too much like him to be AI though. Like he's definitely not AI. This would be the best AI of all time. It's DSP! DSP here with a very important announcement. I just want to say, first, I am glad to be back. I'm sure you were all bored out of your minds without me, but everything is okay now. What the now. fuck? I had to take some time to recover and figure out how to deal with the haters, which I am proud to announce the start of the hashtag DS positive movement. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting the fucking confused. You, you hear Atlas? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's like, I, what? I just, I just asked B awesome one where he got this. Yeah, <laughs> please do. Because like DSP positive was a real thing. Was this around that time when he bought this from? I have no idea for that. It will put an end to all of the haters, starting with Anthony. Look, we haven't always seen eye to eye on anything. But yeah, that that's true. Free I ice cream. That you are my long lost brother. 
I know that this is a lot to take in all at once. It was for me. But know that we are a family, and I'm here for you, okay? That is why I need your help <laughs> to crush shit. Anthony and be a Amazing. part of the hashtag DS Positive this. Movement. I got... <laughs> I, I, you know what? I've seen this video for this whole year, but I never, I always thought it was, uh, him, like, just voice acting in a shitty, like, wrestling playthroughs. So I never even listened to this part. I just knew it was this Larry Bundy part, because I was, I know that's really him. I thought the beginning part was just random him, him reading off shit during his wrestling streams, but this is much different than I expected. I, I can't believe I never saw this before. Saw this before. Movement. This is amazing. To I know you think he's your friend. But he's really been using you this entire time. <laughs> Nobody knew who he was until you started doing videos mentioning or playing games with him. What? Okay? Search your feelings, Kane. You know it to be true. <laughs> Hell you yeah. just witnessed the wonderful <laughs> beginning of the hashtag DS positive movement, okay? With my brother Kane at my side, there's nothing that can stand in our way. Isn't that right, Kane? Yeah, honey. Did you see how I handled Anthony out there? He won't. Uh, hold on. Hey, what are you? Oh my god. This is so fucking bad. My car! Oh my god. I think we all learned a valuable lesson. We don't need a shiny metal belt to prove we are a real gamer. Oh my Deep god. Inside, there is a real I'm... gamer in all. This is real, guys. That cements it for me. I'm gobsmacked. This uh, is real. Gobsmacked. You heard that? This that is insane. That's DSP fan voice right there. You know what I'm saying? You can hear it a mile away. Mm. Hey, they all kind of well, sound. They're going to sound too. You know what I'm saying? This guy has a DSP fan voice, if you get my drift. We don't need a shiny metal belt to prove we are a real gamer. You know what I'm saying? Deep down inside. It, you, know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? And it's right here. <laughs> and all of us. Well, if you feel that way about it, <laughs> then I'll take the belt. What the fuck is going on? And another. All right, guy. there we go. We're not gonna watch that again. Holy shit, that was man! Amazing. That was amazing. All right, <laughs> Kevin says, no matter how much lore you think you know, there's always another trail of shit to go down. Absolutely. Holy fuck! All right, more research has to be done on this. Do not worry. We'll find. We'll get to the true bottom of that. In time. Christian C. said, could, could someone have paid him for Private React to record his lines? This reminds me of the Derek Birthday B-Day video. Oh, oh it, it's, it's something like that. Not quite that, but it's on the same style. You know what I'm saying? We, we'll, yeah, I, we'll, yeah, I'll get yeah. into that more. We'll, don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of that fully. fully. So we'll hopefully, get to hopefully by tomorrow I have an answer for this. Because this, <laughs> yeah. is, this is amazing. <laughs> yes. I've been contacted by anyone to do it. The only games where I really do voiceover work are things like like Phoenix Wright series where Anyways, I'm trying to make remember he says he's awesome character. at this. Um, so I, would I consider it? Yeah, I would. Wait, here's then the link. Again, oh, voice acting. Yeah, that's how we got there. Sorry. Like, the, no, I, <laughs> here's the link. On YouTube, my number one complaint was, Ugh, why is his voice so high pitch? It's annoying. Like, not everyone, <laughs> not everyone has a nice deep voice like this. Like <laughs> Barry White. So now we're going to play Mass Effect 3. With the soothing sounds of Barry White, <laughs> like you know what I mean. Like <laughs> yeah. not everyone has that, and you can't affect what your voice sounds like. But uh, I mean, you can. You just you just did a different that voice. You do have an effect. Yeah. yeah. So you really question, wanted to. You could would talk you ever like that. Playing or trying indie games. Um, and this is by uh -oh. the way, this question is from David Porhez, who's a uh, a big big fan of mine. I'm on my website, thekingofhate.com. Oh hell yeah! Frequently posts and asks these questions. Um, I did try indie games. If you remember, a couple of years ago, John and I had a day where we were just bored. There was really no co-op to do, and we jumped into indie games and fucked around with them for several hours. I mean, if there is an indie game that's really good, I would try it. The thing is, even the ones that are highly rated, oh, here I don't we go. Know, they just don't really appeal to me that much. I, keep, I, I, it's not that I don't look to play them, uh. but... I don't know. Like, they obviously don't get a lot. Don't Triple get A or nothing. Get us so fuck out of here. They don't much. get marketing. The problem, yep. my major problem okay. Why does that affect your enjoyment? Live, 
There's way too fucking many of them. It's massive shovelware. It's ju- <laughs> it's laughable. The games that I played with John Rambo were awful, but they were funny to play. Okay. For me to invest okay, in real there's time some in value there. I need to know that it's good. And it's really they hard f- right now to get through <laughs> all the shovel of the shit. Yeah, they fucked around for that is a kind of funny clip. Let's see if I can get it. They fucked around for several hours, him and John Rambo. <laughs> There's way too many killed me that really good I, fuck, I had a day where we were just bored there was really no co-op to do and we jumped into indie games and fucked around with them for several hours uh, no, he said we fucked around with them for several hours so <laughs> there's way too fuck okay random. shut that's up don't care for these games and really right now there's nothing that's the problem with indie games right now in my opinion okay yep okay i think i have all right. time for one more question i do all right more questions so last question. uh, all right. phil i'm a new fan and when viewing some of your older videos uh, to get to know more about your channel, uh, I heard you say that you thought that the music and rhythm game genre is dead. Um, and that is correct. I'm talking about Guitar Hero, Rock Band, those kind of games. They're dead. They die. Okay? <laughs> well, regardless of this, uh, my question is, what did you think of these games before their death? Did you ever consider doing videos of these games, or did you just ignore that? All together, and that's from Game Shredder V1. So before he says his answer, just a reminder, he had the full set of everything you need for one version of Rock Band, whatever it was, and he brought it with him to a tournament. Uh, and and no one no one went no one played with him. So let's remember, keep that in mind. Um, that's so much shit to haul I back and forth. Uh huh. Played those games. I played Guitar Hero One and Two. And yeah. I loved them. I loved them. I played. I had Rock Band. The, the whole Rock Band. Told set for Rock Band when it came out. Um. No friends, whole set. <laughs> I didn't have DJ. I don't have any friends, but I got the whole set for Rock Band. DJ Hero, but I knew some people who had DJ Hero. The Bomani games, the games in arcades, like Dance Dance Revolution, uh, the games where you press the buttons, like to do a DJ Bomani in arcades, games. that kind of stuff. Guitar Freaks, which actually was the predecessor of Guitar Hero, and Guitar Hero was kind of a ripoff of Guitar Freaks, just that used licensed music. But I played all of them. No. Oh. And I enjoyed them. But here's what wow. happened. Thank you, everyone else your played membership. them and enjoyed them too. That. And then when games like Guitar Hero or whatever started coming out using real music from licensed bands, uh-huh. all these studios saw were dollar signs. They okay. didn't think quality. They didn't even think proper quantity. What? They just saw okay. money, what? money, money cash in. Okay? Yeah, um, and all right. they didn't properly plan out the lifespan of their products. They didn't properly plan out release schedules. They pretty okay. much said... Okay, these games have become popular. Let's now create 42 guitars to sell. Let's oh, okay. create 400 different peripherals. Let's release 400 versions of these games, even when no one's asked for them yet, and they're not done with the last one. <laughs> Let's release 5,000 downloadable DLC songs. Okay, you know, what, more songs is and, bad. And just cash in. Yeah, he sounds really was, upset about this. Uh, it became too much DLC, dude. Can't do that. He goes to Pasta Maker says somehow that that may, somehow makes a po- Polo Ralph Lauren shirt look worse than his crappy thrift store nice shirts. Mm-hmm. He's got the Polo right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he thinks he looks dapper. He kind of uh-huh. looks slovenly, but it's okay. <laughs> Within the course of say three to four years, you went from the games just being small and slowly becoming popular to being hugely popular was a spike. Then the market became so oversaturated with this stuff ah. that no one wanted it anymore. Let's be honest. If you have a working guitar, how- <laughs> I can get a funny image in here. Hold on. Right. Okay. It's, worth right. it. it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> He's summoning. <laughs> summon, summon the ka-ching. <laughs> summon hey, you put a couple of effects of that on uh, on on Photoshop. Yeah, you got a summon right there. <laughs> yeah, we need to make it a fade in. Hold on, this is live memeing here. This is the best. <laughs> live memeing is the best. Ready? You kids know about live memes. <laughs> yes, Catherine. I, I hear you must. You need some sustenance. Give me a second, my darling. <laughs> there you go, my honey. Oversauce ka-ching, your favorite. All right, let's go. With this stuff. 
<laughs> that no one wanted it anymore. Let's be honest. If you have a working guitar, how many fucking guitars are you going to buy? You're not going to buy more than one. You know what I mean? If you have one rock band set and that set works, why would you then go buy the special edition rock band Beatles set? Oh, uh, yeah, next I want that. version of the rock band set that came out with rock well, in case band Well, you know? stupid. And that was well. the thing. Every new version of the game that came out, they tried to re-release uh, to all of their peripherals again. Uh, and people said, we don't need these. I already have a set of peripherals. So they jumped all this yeah, but money some into re releasing Every game is somebody's first it. game in yep. the series or genre. So they have to give you a guitar. Uh -huh. Nobody wanted and completely huh? pissed their money away. I wouldn't be surprised if there were warehouses in the United States, I'm not even joking, uh -oh. that are entirely full of rock band and guitar hero peripherals that nobody sold. Thanks, business side, Phil. And they don't know what the fuck to do with them because no one yep. wants them. They're garbage. Uh -huh, garbage, um, in addition to that, they just kept selling too many games. So you'd have to <laughs> They sold too many games. That was the problem. That's why they just kind of died off, was they sold too many games, uh, obviously. Guitar Hero 2, uh. Guitar Hero 3, Guitar Hero World Tour, Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Rock band, fucking, I don't know, Maroon 5. You know what I mean? Like, it would be <laughs> releases for just specific bands. You're like, I don't want to fucking buy. Phil was tasked with thinking about bands. He came up with Aerosmith and Maroon 5. Very cool. Uh, another list band. of two, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's where it <laughs> begins and ends with him. <laughs> and then finally, when one that comes out that you might actually want for a legendary band, like rock band Beatles or whatever it was. Oh, they're legendary. So Beatles are legendary. Big ups, dude. Here we go. I don't know if you even remember if it was rock band or guitar here, by the way, but whatever one it was with the Beatles... Not a lot of people bought it because they were tired of the product. They said there's too much shit out there. It's too much. It, just like with indie games, too much shovelware. It was too much stuff that people were, were really looking for. What? And when you oversaturate a market like that, it gets watered down and people stop caring. And that's exactly what happened. Okay. These companies, instead of saying, all right, year one, we'll release this game. Year two, we'll release this game with one new peripheral. Year three, we'll okay. release a new game, and then we'll do some interesting DLC. Year four, they never planned it out. They just like, keep throwing shit out. Just keep fucking chucking games, chucking shit, peripherals and, pe and shit at people. Uh, whatever. People keep buying it, and okay. that's not what happened. People finally drew the line and said, all right, it was a fad. But I'm not gonna go buy your fucking same peripherals again. That's so, what I said he too. sounds so yeah. angry about this. It has like nothing to do with him. Like if, <laughs> if you don't just don't buy this shit, dude. What's wrong? I was walking in the store with my friends. We gotta buy something. We're like, you know what? This is just a fad, you know? I don't wanna buy this anymore. They're releasing too many of these, but I'm not buying these anymore. It was just a fad. That's what I thought in my mind <laughs> when I was at the store. You blew it. And that's pretty uh, much what happened. Yeah, I thought that too. Yeah, they blew, blew it. it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they fuckers blew it. It was just a fad. Most game developers, they blew it, and some of them have closed their doors or just gotten shut down by uh, the companies, if you can believe it. That's right, this cash cow that these companies are using, some of these, these, these developers cow. have closed cash their doors, cow. which is kind of crazy, <laughs> just because of bad business plan. Uh, definitely. So, perfect example. Of something that catches on is really popular because of bad business planning, uh -huh. it kind of fizzles out and dies. Remember when Phil says stuff like this, right. he bought literally every every instrument was owned by him at one point, and who knows how many games he bought. Like he he always says these companies are milking, but he gives them a he gives them lots of fucking money for their milk. I'll tell you that. Oh, oh every yeah, time yeah. he's 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 the candidate <laughs> that they're selling to. He doesn't yes. even know. But he knows they're also milking everyone, but yet he gives them tons of money for their milk first. Uh, Big Ups, I'm 41, says, as a businessman, he's doing great right now. Oh, definitely. Good point. <laughs> he's on the top of the world right now. Just oversaturation. All right, come um, on. I enjoyed those games. I really liked them. And then I got bored of them just like everyone else. And that's why okay. they died. Why did I never do footage of them yeah, on YouTube? Rock band Very whale. simply put, <laughs> copyrighted music. It's copyrighted content. And... It would be, it, it, it's a harder battle to fight on YouTube it, to say, okay, I'm doing a let's play of this original game. It's a with harder battle. Okay, You'll have to be in the created, trenches, you guys. That's a transformative work. They say, well, I'm uh. recreating a copyrighted song note for note. That could be a little bit more iffy. So I never okay. dealt, dabbled with that. I didn't want to take the risk. And incidentally, I don't think it's very interesting to see someone do this. Duh, 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 and hit every note. You can just listen to the fucking song if you want. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's the fun of it, isn't it? If Because you really listen to people play rock band because you want to hear the song. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I want to do. When you guys watch those those comps of those guys beating those really difficult songs, uh, yeah. if you wanted to hear the song, you just go listen to it. That's what I do. When I want to hear my favorite version of songs, I just go to, uh, oh, let me find a rock band streamer real quick.
want to hear the my favorite songs that way. So they're they're pretty much interchangeable. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Ask the King, be sure to come back for part two. I have way more questions to answer that yeah. I need to get to, so stay tuned and I'll be right back. Oh, hold on, why didn't he upload that out? He up he clearly edited something here at the end. Watch. Ask the king, you know, you can just listen to Incidentally, I don't think it's very interesting to see someone do this. And hit every note. Come back for part two. So watch. He edits something, but he keeps in some of the get up. more questions to answer that I need to get to, so stay tuned and I'll be right back. Like, see? Yeah. He edited out. That is he edited, very <laughs> why didn't you edit out before you started getting up? <laughs> Yeah, Here's I could have just sat there for an extra second for yeah. a cleaner cut. Wow. Yeah. Welcome back to part two of Ask the King for January 26, 2012. This is the episode. Logo's hanging off the screen, by the way. It's a small nitpick, but Oof, it's sloppy. It's rough, though. It's sloppy. Yeah, just sloppy. <laughs> Don't quality. be sloppy. For 20 of Ask the King. Um, let's jump right into it because we've got quite a lot of questions to get to because I kind of ranted about ACTA a little bit too oh, much. Oh, you got that part. right. So let's yep. go ahead. Can do that. Uh, next question. This one's from Be Bad. It's a two-parter. First part. Recently, Epic Mickey 2 was announced. <sighs> Son of a bitch. What are your thoughts about this announcement? I actually enjoyed the original, but you clearly despised the game. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would improve game. the sequel if you were in charge of its development. They call me the king of hate, dude. Here's my thoughts. This is my honest thoughts. Uh oh. I know for a fact that a lot of people liked Epic Mickey. It was actually a, a, a actual a, a money-making hit. And the reason it, that it sold so much what? wasn't the gameplay. It was because it was Mickey Mouse. Okay. It was a game that came out right before Christmas, and everyone bought it for their kids. I know this for a fact. So, so it was a right. huge hit for the wrong reasons. Not because it was a great game. Not because what it was a right reason. Because it absolutely was not. Critics panned the game and said it was a Pan. piece of shit. But it is what it is. Some games just sell because of the subject matter. They're shoots <laughs> it's Disney what game. it is in the end. It's a safe game to buy my kids for Christmas. And some kids got a real fucking lump of coal in their stocking that year. Let's just put it that way. How do I feel about Epic Mickey 2? I think Whatever. it was inevitable that it was going to come out when it's a game like that that's a moneymaker. Um, and, uh, what, first of all, let's, let's address what would I change? The camera has to fucking work, which it didn't in Epic Mickey That's the question? And by the way, funny as he says this, it, it's, uh, in February 2024, it was announced that there's been, they're doing a remake of it. It's called Rebrushed. Epic Mickey Rebrushed. Coming out this yeah, literal I year. <laughs> I thought he did a little mini rant about it not that long ago, okay. but I thought I was I had dreamed that or something. Cool. <laughs> Take out the repetitive side scrolling bullshit stages. If they're gonna be in there, you go through them once, you never go back through them. Not that you repetitively have to go through them every time you go from world to world. Makes no fucking sense. Just yep, put no back sense, dude. into the game after you go there the first time. And for the love of God. Make it HD, which, by the way, they're doing this time. Supposedly, it's not just a Wii exclusive from what I'm hearing. It's going to be on Xbox. It's going to be on PlayStation. So Ooh. you'll actually be able to tell what, what the fuck's going on, remember. which was a major problem with the first game. Remember, with the Wii, it couldn't handle the graphics that it was trying to push out. And there were parts that the game would chug along at a low frame rate and in slow motion because the Wii's graphical engine couldn't handle the game. What the All fuck? Right. Uh -huh. so Wii's graphical engine, shout out. Console, or not, I don't want to say a new console. Putting it on... An HD console that, that terrible system that nobody ever bought or played. Issues. Yep, dead and system. I really think the first yeah. game had massive potential and squandered it. Fingers crossed that Epic Mickey 2 fixes the issues with the first game and ends up being a pretty good one. I hope, because I'm going to have to play it. I don't want to have to cry again. <laughs> I don't cry often. All right, next <laughs> Very <question>. funny. <laughs> From the same person. It was a two-parter. Uh, the New Mortal Kombat was one of my favorite games of 2011, and I was surprised you didn't even give the game an honorable mention in the top 10 games of 2011 videos. How do you rank it compared to other games that have been released? Well, uh -oh. A lot of people said to me, Phil, why didn't you mention Mortal Kombat? Why didn't you mention Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Why didn't you mention, you know, these fighters that came out? You know, you are a fighting game fan, and in the previous year, especially um. that year Street Fighter 4 came out, it was in my top 10 games of the year. Why didn't I mention these games this year? And the answer, quite frankly, is because I feel that these games are not very good. Um, they're, they're great games to fuck around with, <laughs> but for games that like historically you do with games? are meant to be played competitively, <laughs> these games failed on a massive level uh -huh. both mortal kombat and marvel vs. capcom that was a very aggressive both 
failed on a massive level. Both Mortal Kombat and Marvel vs. Capcom 3 are games that were purposely dumbed down in the skill level. Oh no, oh, please God. don't go down this road. I don't want it. I Classic. can't handle it. Three Classic. times speed coming up. If we get this fucking <laughs> everyday gamer shit, I'm out of here. If any Joe Schmo can play Oh, them, Joe Schmo! And they have I'm critical flaws. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 okay. he kind of stopped, I think. Put in flashy right. combos that after just a little bit of repetitive practice, you can easily pull off, do sure. insane amounts of damage, and uh -huh. break the fucking game. Other fighting games? Do you, can you name a fighting game before this newest slew of games that if you get hit by one combo, you're pretty much fucked? Why is it that in Mortal Kombat, Don't care. you can do one combo with certain characters and it oh. takes like 50% damage? That's insane. That's insane, Why dude. Why would you take 50% damage with one combo? Why in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and now even Ultimate Marvel 3 you can, can just you put do this one combo and you're going to be the same huh? between characters or whatever, <laughs> yep. but it kills 100% of your life bar on a character. It's fucking stupid. Stupid. Fighting games weren't meant and weren't designed to be games where you get hit once and lose. <laughs> they were meant to be tactical games where you have a chance to come back, but uh, you also, there's all these different factors and mind games and footsies uh -huh, and things yeah. in them. That doesn't exist anymore. It's been completely lost all to right. these games that are just, they look really flashy. Oh, you just want to I don't fucking care. Thank you. Oh, God. All right, okay. but I loved your oh, opinion. Oh, 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 oh can. What we got here? What's this? Hang on. We got a can style. Because they don't deserve them. Uh, try to get a In can. Opinion, that's okay. just my opinion. Oh. All right. It's, okay. Ah, he's holding okay. it very tough. It's, nice it, it's not kind Mountain green. Dew. It's not Mountain Dew. It doesn't look dark green enough. Oh, but okay, but the bottom is giving me uh, Baja Blast vibes. Is oh. the, that blue? That blue green. Is it? It could be a seltzer can. It could, but yeah, I'm not familiar with seltzers. But L A Qua, that's not even a thing at this point, is it? Look, 2012. Oh, <laughs> look at this. This is a very He's weird. He's always sip. loved his seltzers, though, isn't it? <laughs> could be some kind of ginger ale. I'm seeing that in a in a La Qua L A Qua. I fucked that up, didn't I? <laughs> L.A. Qua. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's L.A. Qua, assholes. Dude, it's L.A. Qua for the rest of time now for me. Hold on, is this L.A. Qua, though? We gotta find okay. out. Next question. <laughs> Look at that little sip. I love the yeah, dainty the sip. smallest sip. Yeah. <laughs> 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 when you drink too much L.A. Qua, that's what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I drank a fuck to the L.A. Qua last night, guys. Let me tell you, she was a straight tan. <laughs> All right. That's just my opinion. Look at this date okay. sip. Next question. <laughs> March 3rd, 2012, right. will the fifth year anniversary of DSP being on YouTube. I'm just talking about what my year original anniversary? channel, Darkside Phil, I signed up for on March 3rd, I think 2007. Channel? I never posted anything on it for quite a while, though, okay? All right. Are you planning anything special for this anniversary? Are you considering doing something to mark the occasion? That's from Jay Tarrant or Tarrant. I'm not sure how to say it. Okay. Listen, here's, here's my, my feeling on any kind here's of a idea. special event anniversary. Yeah, list. what's your feeling? I've had a hundred billion milestones since I've been on YouTube. Oh, oh wow. Uh, uh, videos, no, stupid. I can't do a special event. Videos, I've had a millions of officials. 100,000 subscribers. There's 50,000 subscribers. You know what I mean? I'm busy. There's so many milestones you can celebrate. And for me, the milestones that I like to celebrate, for oh, example, come on. were when I made that video about why I do what I do as a full-time gamer, how I'm enjoying it, the experience I've had. That was a milestone for me, a year of doing it full-time and being able to make a video like that and talk about it. Or finally releasing Project 7 after two years of development, this project finally coming to fruition. Those are the kinds of things That's that crazy. I like That's to celebrate. Two years. For me, uh -huh. oh, it's 10,000th video. It's just a number. And oh, it's, it's just really number, not dude. my 10,000 video. I have several other channels. If you actually add up all the videos, I've got way more than 10,000 videos. I hate to tell you. I've probably got more than 20,000 videos Whoa. on YouTube. In addition to that, the 10,000 video cool. you saw is a 10,000 awesome. video on DSP Gaming. Hell yeah. I've actually had all those three-minute-long videos. Now, some great. things have been aired out 
because of YouTube. Some were du duplicate uploads in, in error. Some were things that I had to send on private because they had copyrighted content when I became a partner for Machinima. So I've made more than 10,000 videos by the hundreds on, on this channel, and there's no reason to say I've made... Made yeah, that was more strange. Than 10, videos by the hundreds on, on this I've made more than 10,000 videos by the hundreds. Partner for Machinima, so yeah. I've made more than 10,000 videos by the hundreds on, okay. on this got channel, it. and there's no reason to celebrate. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Makes sense. It's just a number for me. Okay. I like that sentence. We'll like put it, together. <laughs> similar to what your thoughts on the age of Pandalee. It's just a number to you, huh? A false milestone <laughs> like that. It's just a number for me. And I can time this right. Hold There's on. no reason to celebrate a false milestone. Like um, Panda Lee is underage. Do you think it's okay to send her messages on on Twitter or anything? What do you think, Phil? Like that. It's just a number for me. Oh, okay, okay, cool. It's just a number. <laughs> All right, got it, got but it. <laughs> I would rather celebrate the bigger events, like I said. The ones oh, like her 18th birthday? That I mentioned. Those are the things <laughs> that I want to celebrate. So no, like her graduation from There's high school. There's so many milestones, <laughs> yeah. but I only want to celebrate the important ones. You know, the ones that are really meaningful. She moved to middle school. She got head of the cheerleading team. She never graduated high school, so we can't say that one until much later. So. Even though, yeah, okay, I'm five years on YouTube, but I didn't really post videos at that point. I didn't uh, post them for months, if not years afterwards, so why celebrate that? You know what I mean? Yeah, Those definitely. Those kind of things are just fluff. For me, why the have big fun? celebrations are milestones in my development. And, uh, yeah, actually, why do, make entertaining you know? content? So, Good idea. If anything big Who needs happens, it? that's the kind of stuff that I'll celebrate. Right now, I'm, I'm really do in the project seven, and that's really make my biggest make milestone cool thing. Don't worry about it. Who needs it? All right, dear Phil, at the beginning of the yeah, last year, you said you would try, our play, try out PlayStation Plus and have a year-end review of it. Now it's one year later. It's roughly one year later right now. He's right. It's not over yet because it hasn't expired, and I haven't renewed it. But we're getting pretty close to the one-year mark now. Uh, I'm wondering, what is your opinion about the service and if it's worth worth me to get it? That's sp spelled with a PH is his name. That's kind of a weird name. But anyway. Okay. Hey. Here's my opinion on PlayStation Plus. Jesus. If you're the kind of person that likes downloadable titles, I love downloadable like if you titles. You buy a lot of stuff on PlayStation Who Network. Does. It's a good value because a lot of the times those titles, if you don't get them right away and you wait a month or two, there'll be a big discount if you have PlayStation Plus. Okay. It's a little frustrating though when if you've already bought those titles at full price and then a month later here they are for half price and you're like, what the fuck gives? You're know, like, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> For me, yeah, it's almost like you don't have to buy every game at release, you know, you can probably wait. But... What the, what the fuck gives? Certain betas, like <laughs> Assassin's Creed. I had the Assassin's Creed Revelations beta, I got into it. Just recently, the Gotham City... And <laughs> I two Electric Bill. I did, I'll definitely check into that. I didn't. I haven't banned anybody, so I'll check it, my friend. And Spencer's asking, "Are you watching the guy when he goes live?" Yes, until a tip. Yes, we're watching until we get a real tip. So. Imposters beta. I got into it. That's really cool to have access to those things. Is it fair that people have to pay to have early access to those things? I don't necessarily agree with that, but. Those are the kind of advantages you're going to get with PlayStation Plus. Yeah, I, I can tell you the completely worthless things, like that core show that they give you. No one fucking watches that. It's completely worthless. Apparently it's not. common information you've got on the internet. Why would you want to watch core. a show that they produce that they charge you otherwise for? Fuck that. Yeah. Um, Hell yeah. And they claim every month that they give you freebies. Most of the freebies are completely worthless. And what's annoying about the freebies is they're for a very limited time. So they'll say, oh, there's freebies, get them now. And if you don't know to go on there now and get them, within two weeks they're gone, and now you've missed out. And that's happened to me. Phil, okay. you know, John said, oh, Phil, something's free, go get it. And I go on there, and it's gone. It's not free anymore. I'm like, that's Gotta be fast. If you're gonna yeah, you got to get there when he says get there, members, stupid. Make it what? fucking free, not that, oh, you missed out because you didn't know to go on fucking PlayStation Network every single single day and check what's free it's really fucking annoying in that regard this how he feels so about like sales at the store like the grocery store i guess so like they never fucking told me dude <laughs> what <laughs> Someone, someone's like oh man you know green beans are buy two get one and you're like all right cool and then like you go three weeks later and they're not the same you're like what the what? heck dude huh? like, yeah what you should have got green beans then uh what i went to their time huh betas and if you want to get big discounts on downloadable games a couple months after their release Oh, definitely. That's probably the reason to subscribe. Any other reason, complete waste of time. So if you're not interested in those two things, don't bother with it. Next question. Right. Hey, Phil. Uh, you mentioned that you're reading A Song of Ice and Fire, uh, oh. which is uh, Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. It's a series of books oh, by George R. R. Reading. R. 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 It's a fantasy series. 
Uh, I'm curious what you were on the Storm of Swords. It's amazing, and that's from Solid Fantasy, also an avid fan. Oh, avid um, fan. I'm only on the second book, uh, which is, I believe, Clash of Kings. There's five books in the series, I believe. Um, and I just, it's taking me forever to get through it. As you know, I'm busy. I'm constantly reading gaming magazines and things to stay in the know on what games are coming up. <laughs> I'm constantly uh, reading uh, gaming magazines. <laughs> yeah. So he really wasn't reading it. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Truth comes he out. He would bring it with him. He would bring it with him places and like read two pages and not know what's going on. Yeah. And they would like put it back. Hey, check right, out Twitter real quick. <laughs> Busy. I'm constantly reading gaming magazines and things to stay in the know on what games are coming oh, up. Oh, stay in the know. So I'm doing that kind of stuff with reading. I'm always filming and I read when I can. Um, but just recently now, uh, if you saw our MagFest coverage, we stopped at a comic book store, Jane Silent Bob's Secret Stash. First time I've been to a comic book store in 100 years. So I bought some comics and I've been reading those. In fact, I just finished Batman Long Halloween, uh, which is a very classic Batman Quit tale. I've never Game read of it. Thrones to read Amazing. Comic books. Very I thought cool. it was very uh -huh. cool. fucking awesome comic book. And actually, awesome. that, that comic book series had massive influence on the current awesome. generation of Batman movies. Batman Begins, uh, The Dark Knight, and then the new one that's coming out, I think it's Dark Knight Rises. Those movies were highly influenced by those comics. I highly recommend if you want to read a good Batman story, read The Long Halloween. All so, right. yeah, All yeah. Right. So we'll probably finish Game of Thrones. Thrones. Well, we I have no idea when, maybe sometime the in the next fucking decade. Who knows? All right. I hope in the next you done yet? Be nice. All right, we gotta get a, we gotta get some intel on this drink though. There was again. Um, next question. In right, videos you like your channel find out what updates drink or some of the updates that you've done <laughs> about SOPA and internet censorship. Oh bills, please! How is it that you managed to coherently convey so much information without reading a script? Oh God! Oh. Who wrote this? Who answered this question? Next question. Who asked this? In videos like your channel updates, oh, he didn't say or the name. Some of the updates that you've done oh, yeah, about so much internet censorship bills. I guarantee it's like venomous fat that man. You to coherently convey so much information. That's a venomous a fat man question. It's clear that apart from skit stuff like your Project Seven videos, oh, you definitely, don't use a script. definitely. But seriously. How do you just stand in front of your camera and remember everything you, you know want what? to I'm say? Saying saying I've always been a good public speaker. Uh, do you have notes that you put on a page? Oh my God. Do you spend much time thinking about <laughs> it? Or <laughs> <are you laughs> just preparing for it? Come et cetera, on. Et cetera, or is it just as simple as sitting down and start recording? Great question. That's from Game Tracker. Um, oh, it was from Game Tracker? Of the time, oh, from Game Tracker. <laughs> Yes! That's from Game Tracker! <laughs> game Tracker! Dude, Game Tracker! Holy shit! John Ounce, Game Tracker! 2012, asking the most fellation style question possible. Basically saying, why are you so awesome? Holy shit! Wow, from way back. <laughs> way back, dude. We got, like, let's see, famous, like, not fa famous is definitely the wrong word. Notable people mentions in these Ask the Kings so far. We've had Venomous Fat Man, of course, and now Game Tracker. Hell yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. Age. Do you spend much time thinking about it, or organizing it, or preparing for it, et cetera, et cetera? Or is it just as simple as sitting down and start recording? And that's from Game Tracker. Game um, Tracker. Wow. 99% of the time, it's just sitting down and going. What I usually do, I say, okay, what do I want to talk about in this video? And I don't take notes or nothing. I'll just say, okay. I'll take I want notes to talk or nothing. This game that I played, this game that I played. Oh, and then these two games <laughs> coming up this week. Oh. So I'm doing a channel update. Again, I make a mental note of what I'm going to talk about, and I just run through it. And oh. I'll be honest, there are times when I just forget stuff. It. It's like, true. There's like, times like, when I want to mention like, stuff, and I do forget one or two things. But for the most part, I'm usually able to nail it and it's always it's always on the first take i don't take multiple takes or anything I really, really, unless <laughs> oh someone hold on the really the package being delivered or something i don't i don't it's always on anything. the first take. it's it always just comes good. natural it's public speaking ability is what it really is oh. and it came from years of me doing public speaking doing speeches in front of kids in high school leading events in college leading events at my job of five years before i got laid off right. I was like project leaders on lots of stuff so for me, I was a project leader oh. on lots of stuff. Uh huh. My job of five years before I got laid off, I was a project leader on lots of stuff. So for me, it just comes naturally. But honestly, it took a lot of time, yeah. it took a lot of work, a lot of practice. I couldn't imagine to working somewhere to, and this is the team like that comes right up now, every morning and wants to talk to, to me. Say. Oh God, yeah, can you ah. imagine? <laughs> All right, here he comes. Here he comes, boys. Just shut up. Let him finish. Let him finish.
Don't ask I'm any questions. questions. Yeah, you yeah. Do not want to be here. <laughs> yeah. You know, you have that little pre-meeting with your other coworkers that you know, like, all right, no questions, guys. I'm serious. No yeah, fucking questions. We know questions. what we're doing today. Just let him do his yeah, thing. Yeah, no we're gonna fucking get, questions. We're just gonna get to work after. At the end, he's gonna say, "Do you have any questions?" No fucking questions. All right, you got it. All right, here he comes. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> that's what it was like. If, if he <laughs> even did exactly this, <laughs> even if he did this, you know, which I seriously doubt. Yeah. Doubt, Pro yeah, yeah. <laughs> project leader in college. Yeah. You know, all right, Phil, you're going to be the project leader. So you do everything. And we're like going to be doing like fun <laughs> stuff, like getting laid. So yeah, you're the project leader, dude. Cool. You could, you do it, buddy. You got this <laughs> in video. And, uh, if you ever have a chance to enter into like oratory contests, oh, um, oratory speeches, contests, hell yeah, those kind of things, yeah. debate clubs, stuff like that. Feel free oh, to do debate club, yeah, yeah, very cool. That I have. Contest is oratory. Okay, We're almost to the Twitter questions, by the way. I know some people submitted Thank Twitter fuck questions for that. and wanted them answered. I got about fifteen minutes left. Uh, dear Phil, if you could choose some specific words for subscribers who dislike your videos, not based on your commentary or what? the mistakes that you're making, but simply on the choice of game that you decided to play, what would you like to say? Huh? Now, I myself believe that this may stem from people wanting a playthrough. Well, I didn't get. I didn't get this question. What word? Yeah, but yeah. Specific questions I wanted them answered. I got about. 15 minutes left. Okay. Uh, dear Phil, if you could choose some specific words for subscribers who dislike your videos. If you could choose some specific words? Not based on your commentary. Who... Yeah, for subscribers uh -huh. who don't like your videos, not because of the commentary. Or the mistakes that you're making, but simply on the choice of game that you decided to play. Okay. What would you like to say? Now, I myself believe that this may stem from people wanting a playthrough sooner. So they go to your videos and they just downvote your playthrough what? until you end up playing the game that they want what? you to play. Now, I know what most will say. Why should a rating matter? It's still giving him views. Ratings don't matter on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. This is a valid point, yeah, yeah. but I believe this in having respect for to. someone who provides entertainment when they don't have to do anything at all. It's sort of like trying to get a dog to perform a trick, and when the dog fails, they receive no treat. I find it rather disrespectful that people try to train you what? to conform to their wants, even if it doesn't work, by disliking something that they don't have to watch in the first this. place. Uh -huh. the I think so, too. That last statement was the key. Uh-oh. Disliking something you didn't have to watch Ooh. in the first place. And this is what okay. people on the internet need to figure out. People on the this internet, is this is this whole uh -huh. generation of, of kids who've grown up, kids. and yep, they mean, feel entitled. Yeah, me and ALT, both uh -huh. children right now, same age. But my opinion kids. matters, it's the most important opinion out there, so I have the right to speak it. What I want is the most important, and I should have instant gratification for everything that I want, and I'm entitled to get everything that I want. I deserve it, and you should give it to me for free. This is the mentality of this generation of people who've grown up with the internet, because the internet is instant gratification for a lot of different things. Okay. So case in point, what the lemon is talking about, <laughs> in particular the specific weakness is happening. the lemon. I started playing Phoenix Wright. Uh, the the lemon. Best that... PC, if you ask me. Uh -huh. The lemon. <laughs> yeah. All earlier this week, and it actually was very taxing. I actually found out that after doing the oh, voice very taxing. Fully, my voice was really worn out, which is why I'm taking a break from that game. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, when he was doing the I <laughs> found out that after doing the voice for all earlier this week, it happened. I started playing Phoenix Wright. Oh, okay. Uh, just doing the voice acting for a full day, my voice was really worn out. Which really is why worn out, dude. Uh, he always says that with Phoenix Wright games, to too. Uh -huh. well, I had to take a break after doing it for a day and a half. My voice was shot. Shot. Because I'm doing all the voice acting. Fucking shot, dude. But people started leaving comments on it. And Phil said he was going to do Metal Gear Solid 3 this week, and this game's holding up Metal Gear Solid 3. Stop playing this shitty game. And then they would fucking downvote the video, give it a thumbs down. And you'll see on the those Phoenix Wright videos, there's lots of thumbs down. Now, I started playing Metal Gear Solid 3, and now you're seeing the other thing. You're seeing comments, oh, but it's not playing Phoenix Ew. <laughs> This is a little offshoot of O. Oh, we get that. Ew. This is a weird one. Playing Metal Gear Solid 3. And I've seen Yellow Sick. Oh. Started playing Metal Gear Solid 3. And I've seen the other thing. You're seeing comment. Oh. Flood the Stop Clean Phoenix Wright. Start playing this fucking piece of shit. Ah, this video sucks. Thumbs and they thumbs down the video. Uh -oh. It's like. Wow, what fucking, what spoiled brat mentality this is. I want what I want, and if you don't give it to me, regardless of the fact that this is free, this is optional entertainment, and I don't have to put out a fucking thing for anyone, they're going to downvote other videos 
Burps. Simply yeah. because they don't like the game. <laughs> I'll downvote for the burp. Like the subject matter of a video. They're gonna don't downvote the videos it. they don't want to see. Tennis, like don't you can use it like that if you'd US like. Yeah, like down, you could download for whatever reason you want, but uh, Phil clearly has a problem with that. You gotta stick to his rules, bitch. Come on. Championships. If you hate, you know, rock music, don't listen to a Metallica concert. And if you hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to a Metallica concert. How'd I get here? I'm at a Metallica concert, but I hate this. I'm downloading this. <laughs> I, I, you accidentally wind up at one of those metal festivals. You're like, I, I, I hate this, yeah. this genre. Oh, How I'm am I here? I got to download on this shit. Come on. <laughs> You know, rock music, don't listen to a Metallica concert. And if you hate Metal Gear, don't fucking watch a Metal Gear video. Don't be a whiny brat. I uh, uh -oh. can't get what I want right now. He's <clears throat> doing something else. And start downloading videos. It's immature. Ooh. It's completely brash, selfish. And you deserve to get fucking spanked if that's your mentality. That's the bottom line. You need to get, you what? You deserve to be spanked. Fish. And you deserve to get fucking spanked if that's your mentality. That's the bottom line. You're an immature little brat. Big Papa okay? Phil's gonna come through and spank that everybody. Said, Watch out. Uh -huh. Just like the lemon says, I really don't give a shit because thumbs down don't affect the video in any way. You okay. can give me five billion thumbs down. Who gives a fuck? You're still so watching now the video. You don't I'm care still about getting it. paid. So okay. go ahead and act like a whiny brat if you want because I still get paid for it. So it doesn't matter to me either um, way. Right. But know that it's He's not going to affect what really I'm seems doing like you don't care about it. Definitely. Form. If I want to play a certain game, I'm going to play a certain game. <clears throat> All right. So do it. Happens. No, I didn't start <clears throat> playing Metal Gear Solid 3 this week because I was tired of Phoenix Wright and, you know, fans were demanding it. I did it because my voice was shot from doing all the voice acting. I needed a couple days off. And once I beat Metal Gear okay. Solid 3, I will go back to Phoenix Wright. So everyone, just, just know that that's what's going to happen. But just Hello? chill the fuck out with thumbs okay. down or don't. I get paid either way, so do it. <laughs> so chill out on the thumbs Jesus down, but, or don't, because I don't even fucking care. So whatever. If you don't mean you to play, don't yeah, I don't care. <laughs> you okay. just don't hear other content creators talk like this. They don't no. do this bit. Like they just <laughs> do the videos, and that's it. Why does he feel the need to do this? Uh, you can like, I mean, chill out on the thumbs down, or don't, because I don't even fucking care. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Like, I want to play with you guys anymore. I don't even want to play with you guys anymore. <laughs> I don't even care. I can play it anyway. So invite me to play with you? Or don't. I don't even care. <laughs> but I really want to play <laughs> with you guys. Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, they, they got the Next laugh, question. too. <laughs> okay. Either way. So do what you want. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next question. Do you agree with everyone on Solid Snake's sex appeal being huge? And that's from Cal0014. Oh, my God. I Prediction style. Yeah, I was just about to say, you think he's answering that one? <laughs> I think he's going to make a joke about this one. I don't fucking care because I'm not gay. Or so, That's his joke. It'll be that. What do you think? Yeah, that seems fair enough. Uh, it's going to be that kind of I'm not gay thing. Four. Well, all I have to say, Cal, is that's not the only thing that Solid Snake has that's huge. <laughs> uh, anyway. Wow. Stupid question. Still a joke, just not the one you expected. Yeah, huh? Worse than expected, but it's still a stupid question. <laughs> All right, final question from my forums, then we're going to go to a, a, hand, a small handful of Twitter questions to end up. All handful. Episode. All right, Phil, if Super Turbo is featured again within the next two to three years at the Super Battle Opera Tournament, will you try to qualify uh, again? Also, uh, no. No time. Thank when you. you were at your prime in games like Super Turbo and Marvel vs. Capcom 2, how many hours per week were you practicing? And that's from Private Joker. The first question, will I ever try to compete to go to Japan again and participate in the Super Battle Opera Invitational nope. qualifier tournament, probably not. And the honest answer is because hey. I thought it out, and with can't the make it. That my back is in, which it hasn't. I didn't make it last time, so I know I can't make it the next time. But I'm giving you a bullshit reason anyway. Here it is. And the hey, just admit I'm bad. I thought fine. it out. I thought it out. And with the condition that my back is in, which it hasn't gotten any worse, but it's still just uh, as bad as it ever was. The fact uh, that I haven't back. gotten an operation yet, uh, it's still extremely risky back, to do something back, like dude. an operation. Um. I don't think it's worth it for uh, me to take a trip to Japan uh, with the huge flight times and everything that I would have to do just <laughs> to be in this tournament. I've thought it out, and I said if I want to go somewhere, like I might want to go to Europe, okay? <laughs> I might want to go to some other locale rather than Japan. Japan Why? used to be on my list, and now as I've yeah. become, a, become a more mature adult, it's not as attractive to me anymore. I just don't... <laughs> now that I've become a mature adult, it's not as attractive to me. 
All right. I no, can't. mature adults hate Japan. It's only for kids, dude. Don't sorry, you know? sorry, cat. Damn. Oh, nice pause here too. The LA Quas kicking in. Hell yeah, LA, <laughs> LA fucking Qua. Should be on my list, and now as I've gotten a, uh, become a more mature adult, it's not as attractive to me anymore. Hey, I why? just don't want to. Please say why. Let me put it this way. John yeah. Rambo went, and yeah. I've seen his videos, and I was like, wow, if I had sat on a plane just to do that kind of stuff, I probably would have been disappointed, you know? Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Get yeah. fucked! Get fucked, Johnny! Rambo's getting dunked on. Oh, oh my, my God. God! It looks like he has a fun time, too. I haven't seen all of them, but I saw a few of them. Hold on, I'll show you. If I went there, I'd be pissed. I'd be disappointed. What a yeah. waste of my time that would have been. Like, uh... I had fun, man. What do yeah. you want? He has fun enjoying his fucking trip. Uh, it's hard to find because John Rambo. John Rambo, like totally, it's hard to search for John Rambo because of the actual movie John Rambo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I could imagine. <laughs> it's annoying. Here we go. Oh god, I can't even find it. But anyway, I've seen it before. It's not like we don't have to show it anyway. But just normal touristy Japan stuff that looks fun. But how's it not? Okay, whatever. So, it, I don't know. For me, my roots are in Europe. That's where my ancestors came from. Wow, well, yeah. uh, I My roots are in Europe. Yeah. So, so. I would not participate to try to qualify to go to Japan. Okay? Second question. When I was really competitive into these games, yeah. how often did I play? I would probably say anywhere between 5 to 10 hours a week. Meaning... Every Friday and Saturday night, it was like clockwork. I would either go to the local arcade, and I would stand there starting at like maybe 8, 8, I don't know, let's say 8, 9 uh, p.m., and we'd play till 1, 2 in the morning when the arcade closed. When arcades were dying out, then you'd play at home. It would be the same thing. You'd people come over, and you play for these these epic play sessions where you just play nonstop. So probably 5 to 10 hours a week was what I was putting in. Okay, so just to, here, I did find some. Here we go. Let's just get a quick taste of the stuff that DSP said. If I went that far to do this kind of stuff, it would not be fun for me. Now, since we this is an arcade, it's got an escalator in the freaking arcade. Look at this dude, having fun. Arcade in Japan, have never been there before? Yeah, I was saying it's arcade hype. in Japan is kind of badass. It's hype, dude. I remember the first time I did this, I thought it was incredible. You fight this kind of stuff? Fuck this, it was anime shit, what is this? Yeah. But this Isn't is a guy who loved being in the arcade. <laughs> I know, yeah, how much of his life is hung up in these arcades? Like, who does, ja who does arcades like Japan anymore? Like, nobody! <laughs> nobody does arcades. Uh, if I spent my time doing shit like this, fuck it. Not even fun. Let's see what else. Like we, look, all the fighting games just lined up. Look at that. You want to play, you know? This is where they were dying out in America. They still had them here, though. This is where the best players could play, dude. The yeah. Japanese style. <laughs> Oh my god, alright, well if I did stuff like that, fuck that dude, yeah, not fun. You play at home, it would be the same thing, if people come over and you play for these these epic play sessions where you just play non-stop. So, probably 5 to 10 hours a week was what I was putting in. Oh. Uh, more often 10 hours much than time. 5. Full-time job, pretty when much. When I actually worked at the mall during high school, whenever I was on break at the mall, I would go play for like a half hour. So, there was all this factors. Ah, shout out to but your I shop. put in a significant amount of time training and playing in those games. Alright. We've got four Twitter questions, and then we'll wrap up this week's episode. All right. The first one is from BTR Chaz, and he says, Have you ever considered getting a pet in your condo, or are you worried that it might make noises during your videos? Well, number one, oh that God. is a massive concern. If I have a pet, <laughs> it might disturb my, what I'm recording. It might attack my equipment. If you, you, I know a lot Asper, of people get out of there. <laughs> it attack my equipment. <laughs> I set up, but there's wires everywhere. I mean, oh, with all the yeah, that's... Whose fault is that, sir? Hooked up, there's just wires everywhere. It would be uh, my condo is a fire hazard, you see. I couldn't have an animal. <laughs> I got wires basically all over the fucking floor. I trip over myself all the fucking time. All right, what am I going to do about that? What can you do about that? You tell me. There's someone in here that could chew that and get hurt. But uh -oh. this condo facility also does not allow any pets whatsoever besides cats. Because uh. they consider anything else like a Okay, uh, so get a cat then. A nuisance. A dog Probably wouldn't make that much, much noise so in the video. Noise complaints. Yeah. A rat or a mouse could get loose and, and start freaking reproducing. <laughs> a rat or a mouse? Noise complaints. A rat or a mouse could get loose and, and start freaking <laughs> reproducing. Now you have an infestation here in the condo. So they're only... <laughs> 
talk about <laughs> extremism, he can't have a mouse or a rat because it could start an investation. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I can't have a rat. It could start an infestation, motherfuckers. What are you? What's wrong with you? My one rat. We're gonna have to call a whole exterminator. They're gonna have to bomb the whole building with the with the gas. Who started this? It was that damn Phil Burnell, that one rat. Only allow cats, and I in particular don't like cats that much, so I wouldn't. Oh, Jasper, taking strays. Damn. Give a shit about cats. So they're only allowed cats, and I in particular don't like cats that much. Sorry, so Jasper. Get a pet. Oh, sorry, Jasper. <laughs> Holy shit! He's waking up! <laughs> He's waking up, boys! Get back! Get back! <laughs> oh, God. Really, so we uh, can't have the cat. The corner demon might uh, get it. A myth known as JD. And he says, will you be trying out the, uh, the Connect features for your Mass Effect 3 playthrough in March? Or if anything, will you maybe try them out in a demo? Very good question. Oh, because as very you know, good. Holy shit, that was great. Mass Effect 3 will supposedly be implementing Connect features. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's how my approach to... Uh, I, uh, Palter, that's my theory as well. I, I, that's, that's not even crazy enough to be a theory theory for me. That just 100% is to quell Kat's uh, requests, let's say. I can't take you to Japan, but I can get you a cat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's what I think. She's going to be here all the time. She's, you know, uh -huh. he's doing give, his thing. Let's Better give her cat. something. Yeah, because, you know, I can't give you a kid cat because, you know, I don't have. Yeah. You know, it's difficult for me to make the piping work. So, but I can buy you a cat. Those are fine. Oh, Those it's because of the trolls, dude. <laughs> Cats don't require me to get an erection. So that's easier. <laughs> <laughs> To it. I'm gonna play the demo. You can't declaw it, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The connect. Based off of how the demo implements the connect, I will make my decision whether or not I will use the connect in my official playthrough of the uh -huh. game. And even that said, if I decide to use it and it starts becoming a huge fucking nuisance for me, uh -oh. I'll disconnect the thing and throw it out the window and just play the game because oh. it's a peripheral that does not need to be in a hardcore game like Mass Effect 3. The only reason that they're integrating it is to try to sing. Ooh! Buy Mass Effect 3 mm. works with the Connect, even though it really isn't going to add anything to the game from what everything they've described. They're probably going to try to sell right, it really a bundle doesn't, but... a shitty fucking Connect that no one wants. And, uh, don't use the feature, dude. It's a, it's a gimmick. We get it. I don't it. think it's going to add anything to the game. If it does, I may try it. We'll see. Done. Next question. Uh, this is from GTR. Spoiler, he tried it and hated it. Oh, big ups to Tricorder. Uh, Tricorder Transmissions, who said, get Derek off the screen as he just got put back. But I'll have you know, <laughs> that is the most expensive vision, Tricorder. That, that one costs tr almost triple a normal vision. <laughs> so, Jesus. <laughs> so some people really want to see the Derek. And he says, Project 7's pilot episode had a lot of inside jokes that I understood, but some people had no clue. Are you ever going to explain them? And the answer what? to that is... That's the kind of thing that you put on a DVD. Special features. Here, we're going to analyze, we're going to do commentary and analyze episode one for you, and we're going to explain the special feature, or, or in the special features, we'll explain a lot of these inside jokes that you may not get. Okay. And so that's the kind of uh -huh. stuff we're looking Can't to wait for that DVD. DVD release if and when we do that. That never happened. When the series is done. Nope. Okay. Okay. Last question oh, for this okay. episode of Ask the King, and I'm just about out of time, so this is perfect time for the last question. Great. Is. From I Baker Boy, and the question is: Do you think you screwed up your ma your? Uh, just gonna be do you berated, think you no matter screwed what. up your Mass Effect Three game by romancing both Liara and Miranda? And my <laughs> response yeah. to that is: You could never mess up a game by romancing two women instead of one. Oh, so oh yeah! What a Chad! <laughs> yeah! Hell wow! Yeah. The Man. smirk, I'm loving it. Both, He's eating. dude. <laughs> So that is, you could never mess up a game by romancing two women instead of one. So that's it for this episode of Ask yeah. Amazing. I'll see you guys next time. Remember, I do this once a month at the last week of the month. There pre, will be an exception. This is, uh, you know, pre-Cat Philip. He's a wild animal. Next month, I was just about to say, this is pre-I'm married, stupid. Uh -huh. but... Yeah. <laughs> but he still pretended to be straight more. First, because as you know, February <laughs> is the shortest month of the year. And I said, I don't want to do it too early. 
So I'm just going to do it on March 1st will be episode 21 of Ask the King. All right. The forums are already, next up. Week. already up on my forums on thekingofhate.com. Go post yeah, he should have ended with the script. The bro, that would have been... Please spread uh-huh. the word about this because, again, I've talked about... Really Apple, ruined the whole bit. Upload. I talked about a lot of questions a lot of people have been asking about, and then I answer them, and then they just keep asking because they don't watch the damn videos. Oh, spread yeah. the word. If you see people asking those questions, direct them to these videos so they get their answers. Okay, definitely. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys for gameplay. We'll not have see you fun. there. Be safe. I'll see you I mean, eventually. All right. Big ups. Uckbuck, the legend, says target bag. Will it still be there next month? No, we can't cheat that. You got to tune in next week, my friend, to see if that's going to be there. We got 15, uh, less than 15 minutes to kill before he's on for Like a Dragon, which we will watch into our first hip. I do want to watch. I haven't seen anything as usual. I didn't see anything today uh, from the guy, but this is a, a seven minute clip from Snort Hogan that we will watch. Bill, Ooh. get us in the mood. It's all about the rut he's in. Oh, we don't need to see more, uh, classic. I hope it's a uh, classic RPG overload, uh, uh-huh. stagnation style. Well, let sure. me tell you something, <laughs> brother. Snort, snort, oh, Polar snort, Seltzer, snort, big ups. You. It was the, the seltzer water was polar seltzer water. Hell yeah, P Up. Let's right. go. Let's go. Let's see if I can get an image. Oh hell yeah. You are correct. Here, I'll show it to you all. You are correct. This did look like it. This was the bottle. Love how we can have that on Ooh, not that big. That was the can he had. That looked like the blue. I believe yeah. you were hundred percent on it right there. Polar seltzer calorie good. free. Legendary pool there. Snort, snort. I got the drip. Go. Now, one thing that I will say right up front. Uh oh. Okay. I want to say thank you. How much you is it going to cost me? To those of you who have been along for this ride the last two to two and a half months of RPG Mania. As we've turned He's got a summer shirt on I've today. Been in the midst of RPG it was the unprecedented overload. heat wave. This is the, uh, this is the uh, booze cruise. Beer. <laughs> I, I, that's what I think. In my head, he cannon. puts the drunk glasses on too. Spoiler. <laughs> oh my God! Someone made this. I, I saw this on Twitter. I thought it was like a just a troll made thing, but he literally put that on his own screen. RPG Overload. Yeah. Oh, hilarious! Yeah. I thought it was a troll thing. Oh, hilarious! With so many RPGs at once being played, being juggled, I haven't been able to focus really on any of them. It hasn't allowed me to make significant progress in many of them. What? And in some of these games, we're now approaching, you know, 120 hours of gameplay time. Oh. And it's been wild. I want to say <laughs> oh, it's been thank crazy. you to those who have been around, who have been hanging out and supporting. Many have not. Many have outright said, man, yep, while these have RPGs not. are going on, I'm tapping out. I'm not even going to watch. I'll come back whenever Phil's not playing an RPG. Yeah. So because of yeah, that, it a sounds lot of like a DSP fan around. to me. And in addition to that, although I will say this, although. But what? Support on Almost. some of these streams has done well. For example, notably, the Baldur's Gate 3 streams have done really well when it comes oh, to daily good. support, and I'm very appreciative of that. You guys Thank have you helped so me much. out tremendously. Overall, viewership, engagement, support are all uh, down the- on this channel no! because all I've been doing is playing yeah. RPGs. Okay? <clears throat> and you believe it. Uh-huh. And there's nothing that I can really do to that. You know what I mean? Like when this is, these are the big <laughs> games coming out. These are the ones you, you could choose different games, but covering. Because no, they are the nothing I games. could do, dude. Uh, that's the schedule. I don't make the other it. Games that are, are flopping, like Suicide Squad, for example. <laughs> yeah, um, flopping. I'm kind of left between a rock and a hard place, right? What do I do when there really are no other options besides RPG, RPG, RPG? Right? No other Basically, options. Basically, Baldur's Gate three streams are doing good. No other options. There's never been more games released ever in the history of the universe. No other option. Support-wise during the stream. But that playthrough fell off three months ago. No exaggeration. The, <laughs> the views as of off. like late January. Yeah. Okay, maybe not three months ago. I guess it was two months ago. The views as of late January are atrocious. When I upload videos of that playthrough, they don't get 300 views. <laughs> in day. I wonder get why. <laughs> get the hint. Atrocious. When I upload videos of that playthrough, they don't get 300 views. <laughs> in days. In fact, there's, yeah. there's still parts of that playthrough from two weeks ago that have like 200 views. No one's watching that playthrough on demand at all. Oh, 200. People fell off. It's too long. You know, and that's just a symptom of a too long game. And it's incredibly hard to get people to watch it on demand. Okay? <laughs> because that game's been going on, I feel like it did negatively affect all the other playthroughs I'm doing. You know, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, 
if we hadn't just played Like a Dragon Gaiden back in December, if there hadn't been Like a Dragon Ishin earlier in 2023, Right, Damn. and if I wasn't playing, he's not, other, he's not lying, dude. Some of these fucking that. Baldur's Gate videos from ten days oh. ago don't have three hundred views. Holy shit! Yeah, they're bad. They, I mean, have you seen him play Baldur's Gate recently? God, that's the best. It's miserable. He's really it sucks. stuck. He's really stuck because he has to play it. That's the only place time he gets money anymore. He does it. I mean, yeah, he has to play it for the money. But yeah. like, this is a guy who who was just saying the other day that he plays games because he likes them, not for the money. Oh yeah. If you, you if that, Baldur's yeah. Gate three is messing up your schedule, bro, you just get it out of here. You just have to cut your loss on this one. <laughs> RPGs, maybe Infinite Wealth would have gotten way more support and attendance and engagement. Definitely. But the problem is, everything already was invested in another uh -oh. RPG. Then Final Fantasy seven came out, and it's like. What, did you, right. what was going to happen? You know, I thought maybe Final Fantasy VII would end up getting all the attention and the other two playthroughs would suffer. No. <laughs> nope. Basically, the Final Fantasy VII playthrough is dead in the water. As I started to play, I realized <laughs> yeah, there were two streams. People just didn't I got that exactly much about what I wanted to. I was yeah. already playing two other major RPGs, so the time was just ridiculously divested into these three <laughs> different games in different directions, and I wasn't making enough uh, progress in any of them, right? So, out of all the, the RPG playthroughs, oh, I'm I decided doing, to do a Q and A right, late stream, guys. Say, uh, me, I'm not making progress. I'm most invested but... in Baldur's Gate three and Like a Dragon because I'm the furthest in those, and okay. it looks like if I really heavily focus on those, I'll beat them within a couple of weeks, which is my plan. Really with weird. Final you Fantasy keep playing seven, that. I don't even know what to do with it. I really don't. Um, it seems like no one cares about it when I play. You know why we can't do that? Beach scenes coming up, boys. Can I go there? Ban world. Ban world. Get them out of here. I, you know, I don't feel that way. I enjoy Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I can't do that much with a game that the audience is you know that the schedule is from now on BG3 and, and uh, all the fun oh, yeah, no, like no, a guy, okay. right? Dude, okay. <laughs> that, I, this, I tweeted about it, but his, treat, his tweet before the night before was like, I got to do something to keep things fresh around here. And that, yeah. that was doing BG3 <laughs> and like a dragon for the whole week. That's fresh. Well, don't forget when he's going to uh, play the brand new game on Friday for one day one, for day one, one day. views. Yeah. And then he's going to put it back on the shelf. <laughs> so he can come back in a month and be like, I don't remember what's going on, you guys. This is stupid. Here's the problem. Everyone played the game since day one. They're all better than me. That's what he's going to say. You know <laughs> what? Everyone got better. Everybody already here. saw it. So <laughs> nobody's coming to the playthrough. Yeah. Uh huh. And there's not much I can really do. To make it ex exciting for oh, you. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm sure we're talking about tomorrow. The the choice that he made for co-op could not be worse in terms of entertainment yep. for us. Fucking narrative-based game where you just watch the story. You don't have to do anything. Yep. That's the fucking worst option of all time. You don't like Final Fantasy VII or what After they've After seeing him watch his heavy rain and make the same style yep. of commentary, like, I can't do another David Cage commentary yes. style. And, like, Cat... Is someone that like likes games, you know? Like I believe she really does yeah. like games. She's not. She wants to just w play a game. She doesn't want to do that kind of game <laughs> on stream, you know? Like, let me play the game, you know? <laughs> you know? God, fucking sucks, dude. At least play a game where you can just have fun. Can't do that. Yeah. Fucking sucks, man. With the game, I can't Worst. make it appealing, you know. Um, and yeah, again, it's definitely a bad I really, spot, really feel like whatever. <laughs> if I wasn't playing two other RPGs at the same time, and that was the one RPG in my mix, more people would be showing up and attending and being invested in it. But you're not going to be invested when you have three different directions to go for a current RPG, right? This, so, this logic is so crazy, too, by the way. I want to say thank yeah, you. Yeah. To like, people have a limited amount of RPG, like, space in their head. But like, I yeah, watch RPG, I, I don't but... understand the, RG, R, the RPG overload thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you like RPGs, like, you're eating good. Like, this is paradise for you. What do I do? Good. There's too many RPGs. I don't know what to watch. What do I do? Uh, really, he didn't date anyone yet in, in Final Fantasy VII, actually. Not, I don't think he got to that point yet. So, he did we'll, never not, know. we'll never know. Big up, Cosine Phil says BG3 is the only money making. It's not going anywhere. Well, that, that's why he's playing that. We, that's, he's not even hiding that. Uh, free ice cream says he has to play LAD and get three bucks, 145 viewers. I know that I really think this game, he can't quit this game because cat likes it. And I think if he quit it, like I Kat might get pissed. <laughs> I had, I had that thought today. I was like, I wonder if he's still playing it because like it, he thinks it'll say something if he quits it to cat, you yeah. know, like he doesn't like it or something. And to be fair. I don't think cat would give a shit, but he, 
Bill worries about her caring about it. In my mind, yeah, he's a weirdo. Um, yeah, for he sure, worries about that for shit. sure. But he has he has to play Baldur's Gate three specifically because he's playing uh, like a dragon. Because yeah. Baldur's Gate three makes all that money, and like a dragon makes shit. Yeah. So now it's it, it's the we're in this duo now of like. Like a dragon can't quit it for whatever fucking reason. Make five dollars, five dollars a stream. BG three always gets a hundred because some dent is is just like financing it Bank for rolling. their life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just I don't know, man. Because movie sign says the common factor in all in all his reasons why his channel is failing is him. Just wage quit already, Dave. You failure. But he, he'll tell you the reason. He'll always have a different reason. That's not him. That's the key. Yeah, that's the the trick you got to learn is to you can find a reason for all your problems, but they. Just, can't be you. That's the key. Yeah, as long as it's not you at the end of the day, everything's kosher. We're good yeah. here. Definitely. We can sleep at night. Those who have been showing up and supporting. But yes. overall, and this is just being truthful. Uh oh. With this RPG overload of the last two months, this channel is way down. Yeah. News. Hell yeah. Oh engagement. God. Support. Now you might say, Fix well, I don't get that because I'm watching Baldur's Gate 3. And when you do Baldur's Gate 3 on stream, it's always a supportive stream. You're right. For those of you who attend the Baldur's Gate 3 streams and support them, thank you. The but graphic. the problem is that's all I'm getting is that oh, support yeah. during the stream, which I'll be honest is primarily tips. This you know channel right now is way <laughs> down on memberships and way down on the super chats that I would normally receive during any daily stream. Oh. No matter what game it was, I would consistently get that level of support, and I'm not getting it anymore because it's only the same crowds coming oh. by every day for these. Yeah, RPGs he's getting too many tips, crowd. not enough super chats. Ah, obviously, we've got the ah, inverse problem stop. than we used to have. Yeah, I'm getting too many tips. I'm not getting enough YouTube crap. check. I'm getting too much liquidity for my business. You see, now, most people wouldn't care uh, when the, how the, what kind of style money they get because all money in the end. However, yeah, if you use your tips for pools and your other money for your living bill, you know, everyday bills, you have a problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If those two can't <laughs> merge, there, I could see how there would be a problem. Yeah, yes, <laughs> definitely a problem. Super chats that I would normally receive ah. during any daily stream. No matter what game it was, I would consistently get that level of support, and I'm not getting it anymore because it's only the same crowds coming by every day for these RPGs, and the same crowd. Yeah, the other five thousand fans he has tips, hiding somewhere. That, uh, yeah, they don't show up because they don't like the games right now. Ah, uh, everything else is dwindled. Okay, so gotta rotate so, his other density. Thank you to those see. supporting. If you like this content, if you like this channel. If you like the fact that now I'm putting my I like the content, but I don't like the channel. Foot down to get out of this. <laughs> yes, yes, the meme worked. Here we go. Ready? Channel. If you like the fact that now I'm putting my foot go. down to get out of this, please consider supporting it in some way. That's, that's the best. That's the best thing ever. Oh my shit, that's the best. <laughs> I gotta get out of this. Here <laughs> yeah, we got to hear it again. I don't care. My but, uh, foot down to get out of this. <laughs> please consider supporting it in some way. Right. And anything Thank is appreciated. Again, yeah, membership, tips, appreciate super chats, get memberships, gift and memberships, all appreciated. This is what you call live gaming, you guys. This is I think we will. I think in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> yes. Okay. Get we will absolutely this. get out of this. Okay. Uh, we'll get out of it together. Um, <laughs> but we have uh -oh. to get out of it. And, you know, it's going to be. And at that level, eventually, once we get the variety of games in there, and there are a variety of games coming out, I guess the question is, which ones do I play? And again, that's the question I'm faced with this week for this Friday. Do I eventually play both new games, or do I only play uh, one both. of them? Um, what about this Alone in the Dark game coming out that still is a big question mark? No one really knows what it's going to be. Okay, so who cares? We have to basically be vigilant, correct? <laughs> and, and vigilant. Be vigil and <laughs> what? We got to be vigilant? For what? We have to basically... Be vigilant, uh -huh. correct, and be, be diligent, and get through the endings of these two games, and then move on to focus on other stuff. Wow. Right? Okay, be vigilant. Keep your eyes peeled, you guys, for Holy the endings of these games. Okay. <laughs> I got the go. Be vigilant. I can, yeah, Holy shit! I can be good at games <laughs> if I want to. If I actually want to take a minute to try to be serious with it, I can do it. Big ups, Wesley H, with the rare seven dollar animation. Big ups. Thanks, ALT and Alex, for making this stream meaningful to me. Oh, big ups to you, Wesley. You're very meaningful to, me, to us. You're very meaningful. And Sikorsky Vice President of the Legends says, What other streamer has talks like these? No one? Nobody. No. Nobody. Nope. And even when people do bitch about stuff, like I saw, like, even, like, um, Maximilian Dude 
he's uh, streaming the Final Fantasy VII, obviously, and he he p talked about um, how all the all the content ID is happening. He still, yeah. He still even just says the facts of it by saying like, "Hey, I'm not." If this was from, I forget what he said exactly, but all the copyright claims from that game are not from the company themselves. It's from uh, like covers, you know, and that's kind mm -hmm, of bullshit, mm -hmm. right? It's just like how yeah. I wish you, YouTube would fix this system. It's not. It's not a good feature. It's not working, right? And uh, you know, he comes attack. Att att he talks about it in terms of how, not how it's affecting him at all. He said, like, this is a problem with YouTube overall. It's kind of, you know, something should be changed Just about you the know. system. Yeah. But he's not asking, like, all right, guys, well, since this problem, uh, you I'm know. I'm going to need I'm, you guys to pay up. Yeah, it's not like that at all, you know. And it's okay to have talks about, you know, bad things about YouTube. But in the end, Maximilian dude's not saying, please support other, in other ways. He would never say that. Yeah, he yeah. He would never say I that. I need more tips tonight because I'm getting copyright claim, yeah. guys. It's not about that. It's just, you know, it, it's, it's stupid when even I have some songs in the intro I used to play that were not copyright related. But here, I'll tell you this. Some asshole, I don't know who it was, but someone took a song I used to have in my intros that was not copyright. The, the, it's not copyright. The, uh, the, uh, the artist, in fact, said, use it for everything you want. There's no copyright, right? The, cool, he, cool. Someone uploaded it and made a cover of it, but they just put a filter on it. So it's like more echoey or something. And that's what gives uh -huh. me the copyright claim now, is that covered version wow. that's the same thing. Like, someone trolled, I don't know if it's, like, on purpose. Maybe they just did it for, yeah, like, yeah. you know, but it fucking that's sucks. That's kind of slimy. Yeah, it just sucks. That's kind of you know? slimy. But it, it does suck. I'm, I'm not that I care. I got enough songs, but it was just... People do that kind of shit, it sucks. YouTube should not be... A, that should not be a thing, YouTube, uh, you know... Uh, that should not be in the copyright claim system. I could just make a, a cover of a song and then say, that's my song now. That's not how it works. You guys heard it here first. Uh, ALT would really like the yes. tips for the yes. liquidity of the <laughs> of the radio yeah. station here. Yes, We're please. In dire straits. <laughs> All right, so we, we still got some time to kill. His stream is live, but you know what that means. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's, let's see. Uh, let's do a new song. How about we do a song real quick? Because Dark Side Drill has just released. I mean, if if I holy shit, he released a new song today. Post. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Dude, he, I hope he has a song ready for the finals because he needs one. <laughs> He's going crazy. All right, Snort God in the house. The world premiere here. WPIJ 6051. Let's go. Come on. The, the one, the only. Dark Side Drill. The thing you don't understand is that Never heard this yet. my haters and detractors are not big time guys on YouTube. Snort God, Let's say, coming at you. I singled out one person who I felt really was harmful to me in my business for what they said. <laughs> and I sued them. He's on such a roll, man. Dark Side Drill. Incredible. Oh, yeah. He's cranking him out. And, like, and I don't mean cranking like yeah. a negative connotation. We're all cranking him out because he's cranking him out. I think that's fair to say. I am. Snort guy. Snort Baby bitch boy with no bars. File bankruptcy, but light up on his court docs. Lives in the gated community with his son hard time. Oh, big up for town. And a fucking pet horse, bro. Hey. But before I let go, let's go back in time and rack the minds to a day where Phil wasn't past his prime. To the good old days in the arcade, spending all the dimes just to pass the time. Cause at the time, he was acting fine, was an asinine, still last in line. But hadn't really gotten to the point where he was an asshole. Oh, wait, that's a lie. He was always a bitch boy, little miss bitchy, little miss hissy, nice. sissy fit. Cause he couldn't get that Wolverine toy. If it walks like a bitch and acts like a bitch and dressed like a bitch, he probably a bitch. I'm born with an FA log and seems like a possible switch, but not for the stint he can swallow. With dick and all the dance that be following him. Fuck the whole damn lot of them. I'm calling in this audible. I'm calling it. This shit shouldn't even be possible. Better call that goddamn hospital. Cause we gonna have a problem if we let this piggy off the hook. We slap him like a hockey puck and Jaha just to fuck him up. Oh, and nice. By the way, you're a closet. Uh -huh, shut up. You know. that gobbledygook. Like a lizard, human probably would. Got caught and off on camera. I hope the guy that was good. Really worth that loss he took. Bitch looking ass out here rubbing off folk. We better clap back, get a wreck back, and body him good. Body hey, Phil. Whatever happened to Howard and Rambo had them driving civics, taking care of business, but you know how getting it. Shopping for a Lambo, driving it civics, it nice. Get it out of it, you don't even want to be Hell yeah. $100 each to the homies that were keeping you up, goddamn, you're 
Lame Mo. Lame Mo. Project 7 was garbage, so regarded. Even Derek wanna watch it. Derek wanna watch it. Derek wanna watch it. And speaking of Derek, <laughs> this could be you best to share it. Wanna watch it. Facebook or Insta or Snapchat. Goddamn, that shit's scary. He should be in a mortuary. PDF5 that ignores his parents. Goes online and sims for women. No J.O.I., just mind your business. <laughs> mind your business. No J O I. Begging, telling his dad he's buying, still be lying, still drinking on that whale tail gin, cause that's the shit he's used to buying. I'm inclined to show up at his house and set that bitch on fire. Bitch on fire, bitch on fire. Ooh, Dressing okay. in that woman's sweater, call that shit designer. Shopping <laughs> at the baby gap, that's probably his supplier. I'm calling Kool Aid girl to try to get this man a diaper. Oh. Hey, with your Campbell's chicken noodle soup looking at his face. Fuck you, DSP and all that shit you say. Fuck you. Hope you make less than a buck a day. Fuck you, DSP. Anger in this one. Hell yo. Fuck you, DSP. We're I'm feeling it today. Uh -huh. I'ma tell you all about the snort guy. Snort guy. Man, baby, bitch, boy with no bars. Filed bankruptcy, but lied up on his court docs. Lives in the gated community with his son hard times. Damn. Dark side drill. Bringing the heat again. This is a, the, he is on such a roll right now, the likes of which have not been seen. He's released nine new songs in a month. Holy sh! Having a blast. Damn, that is intense, dude. That's awesome, man. Big ups, Dark Side Drill. Obviously made the finals, as you might expect. Let's see what he brings for the finals. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, let's say we do some self fellation. I do enjoy self fellation. Okay. Let's play. Let's play the B sides bit. Uh, you did say you enjoyed it, Dark. So it's kind of it's kind of like that, Adam. I yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay, so I'll do that. Let's watch the B side bit. He has time. He's not live. <laughs> Never live on time. Hell no. Get on. Oh, coming. Is that a mole man, 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 all right, here's the Ever B side. wish you could own a go. CD of the best Ch King of the Ring songs ever? Whoa. Yeah, I want that. Well, that may be an option someday, huh? but until then, here's huh? a collection of the best <laughs> of the rest. Yo. <laughs> it's 10 hastily cobbled together songs whose jokes were not good enough for an entire song. That's robust. And while Snortwave <laughs> Records wouldn't touch these songs, the 10-foot pole, we do have songs about poles, starting with John Ram. Rambo. Oh, John Rambo, come on. Hello, oh yeah. <laughs> John Rambo and me talk about big sweaty man. I don't care about pretty girls. I don't care about boobs. Oh, oh they just do nothing, nothing for me. I fucking hate that family. I think it's that old vagina thing. I really love it. That's my favorite. <laughs> God damn it. That part, I've never been more proud of that one. I think it's that whole vagina thing. <laughs> That's my yeah. favorite. <laughs> I think it's that whole vagina thing. When we asked him to appear on this album so the king of the ring from 2023 lemtex proclaimed no and he uh -huh. hasn't spoken to us since he really has and with that being said here's i still haven't reached the tier one tips goal <laughs> i have moved i have counts i have big so many dance so Yeah. Oh yeah. Very serious. Oh yeah. 
very important. Due to overwhelming behind-the-scenes demand from a lot of people, as a special bonus, we've included a new version for of you, our Dark runaway Dave Dark Mirror. Dave Mirror hit Q&A. Is it as good as the original? You be the judge. It's not. Q&A. This part was for you guys, though. We had to get Jonathan Franks in here somehow. We did. That was the goal with this song. That was it. That was the goal. Uh -huh. Had to get him in here. I'll tell you what, though. The first Q&A has been stuck in my head all day. It's like a worm. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere I've gone today, it's the first Q&A is in my head. There he is. Look at that legend. And it's not all boomer music. Uh, well, much of it, a lot of it, it, actually all of it, yes, it is all boomer music, <laughs> including this next track. Uh, it, it really is all boomer fries. music. <laughs> Even though I beg for money, you don't have <laughs> to answer that And on Wednesday, we play the doko. After more. Now here, I'll ask you, because this is a real behind-the-scenes style thing. Stu thought the cold I have fries was the good thing. Stu, I see you there. You recognize the cold I have fries reference, Atlas, or not? Or I have in general? I don't. Okay, because they have DoorDash. I have I fries. It is on Pig Pig Go. See, Stu? I'm just saying we could. I think we could have found a better food, but that's just my small nitpicks. Small nitpicks, Stu. It was so legendary overall. And I it's hope a you deep cut for the for the yeah. the boys down in the trenches. I for like it. Fan. I respect the hustle. Yeah, for the real fans. All right, one more song. Then we're on our wings because this next song is gonna make you want to dive into her bush. It's <laughs> wife to Japan. <laughs> Hell yeah! You get to pick the spot I stick it to. I was I was dying when you said you get a new spot to stick them to. No need, boys. Don't take him to Japan. <laughs> Fuck them. That's Not that interesting. The ring B -side. Order now, and we'll send you the enhanced premium audio edition with 8% louder volume, oh, yeah. noise gate, noise filter, contoured pop guard, and slightly reduced landscaper and AC sounds. Order today. Supplies are limited. And please note, leftover copies will be used as Patreon perks that we may or may not fulfill. Order so today. Nice to like, you know, King of the Ring uh, B sides. Check there we go. Big ups, everybody. A lot of fun to make. Who did all the it, talking? You know, oh, he's, no, he's live, the, by the, the way. Sooner the better. Currently, so that we're not. Okay, we're all live. We're all live. You know, I just need to get, you know, through this. I just, uh, and we're today. Uh, scare you. All right, we're live. All right, I'll check it out, Scope Side. Hang on. Oh, come on. If, if we skip to catch up, though, we lose skip. That's true, true. So He's big up. Cope Side Phil says, uh, Cope Side Phil says, I got to that part in Final Fantasy VII, and I have Tifa in it, in it the whole time. It's great to look at while I do the open world boring stuff. Tifa is a goddess, obviously. Are you a Tifa man or an Aerith man, Atlas? Uh, I'm a I'm a Tifa man. Uh, okay. She's got the Yonkers. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up. Uh, PWOP, PWOP says he's having a con contemplative sit on the Ottoman right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Went downstairs, got the coffee, walk upstairs, hit base camp, you know, and then you got to take a break. <laughs> there we go. Hello, everybody. Okay, Good evening. Good. Sorry, I hope I didn't just jump scare you. I uh, think Aerith, but, but on a more serious note, Aerith is kind of the girl next door. Very cutie. Yeah, cute yeah, 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 yeah. Tifa yeah, for sure, like for she sure. Had, She's got yonkers, though, Tifa. Nothing that, problem. So. Tifa looks like she will, she will, you know, a little bit different, darker side, you know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's what's up, Tubes. Yeah. Not a sponsor. Nope, nope. Down with it, though. <laughs> uh, welcome to the late stream. I am finishing setup in this. Yuffie, if you're more Derek style, but the Yuffie, she's 16, everyone. Incredibly yep. hot and stuffy office. Also, uh, Barrett, though. I also accept Barrett as a very fair answer. That dude is 
beast. Very much a beast. Today, the heat wave began here in Washington on, on State. It was <laughs> upwards of Hell 75 yeah. degrees at times outside, uh, which meant that in this office here, it was probably about 90-something earlier. Uh, the temperature is going down. Uh oh, it's going and down. Now it's supposed to go down a little bit every day. Whoa. Going back to normal by Wednesday. Uh, but, you know, I wore short sleeve shirt, shorts today. Basically, it's my summer attire. <laughs> you know, I was wearing last summer. My summer <laughs> attire. I wore my summer garb. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. I'm wearing my summer garb. So hot in here. Whoa. Unseasonably warm weather. In the, it's still considered winter here, and we're getting this kind of weather. <laughs> Incredible to yeah, go. dude. Anyway, what do you uh, want? I'm happy to be chilling with you guys here tonight and uh, making big, big progress face. in Like a with Dragon. Cool. Now we're going to be pushing <laughs> to advance the plot as much as we humanly can. As much as we humanly can. Um, I just uh, those aliens are on a different level, you know. You know, I just need to get you know through this game, and that's oh, what we're going to be get doing. Through it. Big ups, Danny, who says old man ALT trying to bring out his inner Elvis voice. No, no, no. Bob Starsky is the Elvis man. He's a, a more than one Elvis style Trying to song. get big plot developments. The way I see it is uh -oh. get as far in the plot as we can uh, over the next you know week to two weeks until the game essentially says, okay, this is the point of no return. This is the end of the story. And then decide what side content we want to do. Do it then. Because I really feel oh, like we okay. just need to keep making advancement so that we're not you know taking forever meandering and then hitting roadblocks and not being able to finish. You know, we got new it's games going out Friday. I'm playing at least one of the two. You bring it up in Don't case anyone wants any inspiration tonight. Or Rise of the Ronin as of yet, I'm still thinking. Um, but the way I see it, you know, the, the sooner the better for the games that I'm playing, including Baldur's Gate and this. So, you know, every time I play, we got to try to make progress, right? That's, that's What do you want to be when you grow up is so I'm, funny. I'm, I'm trying. I'm really was. I've been trying, actually. I do have a, so a SOK account just for this game. I'm trying to get the real estate agents, but that's just so fucking tough. You know, how do you say, have you noticed what big stars real estate agents have become? That's like, how do you do it? How yeah, do you make that happen? A... <laughs> I'm yeah, trying, you're trying to slip that one casually in the conversation, <laughs> yeah. see how that one goes. By the way, uh, have you noticed how big the real estate <laughs> agents have become? What the fuck? Oh, theme restaurants is good too, but I, I'm working on it. Don't worry, I'm working on it. No. Hope you guys are ready for some fun tonight. Hope you guys it's always are ready. a good time hanging out with you guys at Like a Dragon. I wish that more people would join us for it. Uh, sadly, you know this game. Get the hint. I wish more people liked my stuff, but uh, not that happening would be great. So Can far. you guys watch it? You know, it would be great if you guys gave me more money and viewers. Okay, work on that. All right, cool. Guys at Like a Dragon. I wish that more people would Yon join us for it. Is gonna save uh, the channel. Sadly, uh huh. You know, this game just didn't get much of an audience overall uh -oh. at all. Ever since I started playing it in late January, it never... You know, this game just didn't get much of an audience overall at all. Ever since I started playing <laughs> it in late January, it never Combo. really caught on. Uh, oh, sorry. But the nice. Yakuza series has always been a, 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 a long time uh, strategy for me. Or strategy for me. A long time favorite for me ever since I played... Uh, what was it called? Dead Souls. Yakuza Dead Souls about a decade ago, right? When you guys introduced me to this franchise, and I, I had no idea that what one. it was, that was the I zombie playing, one. and I was like, whoa, like this uh -oh. is fun. And then ever since. Hi, Phil. Happy <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> and, you know, checking out the mainline Yakuza games, I've been a fan. All right. So I'm excited. We move on. Okay. How are y'all hey. tonight? John Nepper says, like a dragon progress. Tonight, yes. Excitement. All right. How's everyone? I hope you're all doing well. Ready to chill and relax with me, I hope. Two to two and a half hours of progress tonight. I'll see how far we can get. Tonight, I do have to make the playlist for tomorrow's react show. Uh, nope. Uh, I'm shadow banned. Which takes a little bit of extra time. My, my SOK no account shit. got shadow banned, yep. Yeah. It's not coming up on his Already? channel. I've had it for a few days, and I have been trying some Jonathan questions, but I guess that shows we're on the watch list. Uh, I'm not banned, but yet my comments aren't coming up on his uh, channel. Son of a bitch. That's a shame. I'm making but, a new one now. You know, let's see how far we can get tonight. We're behind, aren't we? Yeah, we're behind. Jade, I hear oh, you. Oh, that's just... true. We are. No, no. 
Yeah, so you, I, you might see I him still, later, isn't it? I'm looking at him. I have two, you know, obviously I have a different browser for that. I would be oh, able yeah, to see it. Oh, yeah, you have the two-stop yeah, browser. Yeah, 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 right. Seasonal allergies have begun. Oh, I got ripped. But I love this. Yes, it's good to have you here. If you can stick around, do. If you don't feel good, it's all good. <laughs> you, know, you can always watch. Guys, please stick around. Please, I'm begging you. I'm sticking around. Please stick around, guys. Please. Watch on demand after, but uh, no, please I'm happy stick to have around. happy to chill tonight. I'm a guy If you do anything tonight, stick around. Please stick around. Please. <laughs> Luckily, my allergies have not kicked in yet because it's just getting hot. Ooh. So I guarantee you, as a result of ah, this heat wave we're having this week, ah, it's heat style. <laughs> I'm allergic to the heat. <laughs> cool. Are you allergic? Do you have any heat style allergies, Atlas? Maybe too uh, cold? Yeah, I get oh. red. Uh, oh, okay. I start Pretty to cool. sweat. Just a little allergy style. Oh, okay, okay. Not kicked in yet because it's just getting hot. Ah. So I guarantee you as a result of this heat wave we're having this weekend, ah. all of a sudden all the plants outside are going to bloom and then the temperatures are going to go back down to 40, 50 degrees and rain. So they're going to be like, time for spring. <laughs> Get drenched with cold, Thanks, cold air again, which they're not expecting. <laughs> Wait, was this his impression of a plant? I think he was playing the part of a plant right now. Watch. So he's he's a plant. So they're gonna be like, time for spring. Ooh, get drenched with cold <laughs> cold air again. Which they're not expecting. He's a plant. That's what happens when you get these weird heat waves. <laughs> Whoa! He was playing a plant. I do have an office fan. It's blowing right now on oh. maximum blast oscillating. Maximum blast. Do. Maximum blast oscillating. Get fucked, dude. <laughs> There's just yeah. not much you can do. You know. Until I put the air conditioner in it, I'm not going to put it in in March. Ooh, why? It's pretty insane. Yeah, why? You, you could just not turn it on, you know? But I just yeah, just leave dinner? it in the window if it, yeah. you know, don't turn and it on. I left, when I had one in Japan like that, I just left it in the whole year to call me crazy. I, but you could just turn yeah, it off. The, yeah, you know? and just turn it off when you don't want to use it. Uh, curry, Japanese style. Oh, oh. you have dinner. What was for dinner? Uh, curry. Japanese style oh. curry. This time it was with beef. beef steak, basically like steak strips, essentially. Close well, uh, as you can get to Japan, with, you know, Golden potatoes, baby carrots. Yep. Uh, curry style dinner. A little bit of onion, I think. Does it have onion? I forget. No, it's the beef bowl that has onion. This one doesn't have onion. Ooh, That's the beef right. bowl. But it's a really nice curry sauce. Very delicious over white rice. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> Sounds good. Making me hungry, dog. A customer got arrested for being in a fight with your boss. You don't know why they would do it because they're probably stupid. Was this a setup for a, <laughs> a, a no Frank's question? For that, right? Ask him about real estate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we the the Japanese style curry and the Japanese beef bowl are two Japanese style dishes that my wife makes. <laughs> yeah, she does both. She's gonna do the beef bowl. Oh, uh, either tomorrow or. Wait, gotta, we, see, we can't, we can't, it's so hot right now, we don't want to turn the oven on. And we have oh these my wheels god. Oh my god, Oh my dude. god, oh god. You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious. You do not have a one-room apartment, sir. Yeah, that's insane. What? Have a full-size house. Yeah, it's and, it, and it's, yeah, it's 70. It's, what? he's not using the oven, it's 70. Oh my god. Just open the window, bro. It's you fine. <laughs> well, now I need to change it up to get an oven and 70 degrees picture here. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, hold on. So we can't, we can't, it's so hot right now, we don't want to turn the oven on. And we have these meals right. that we're going to make in the oven, and then this heat wave comes, we're like, well, we can't make them. We got to make stovetop meals while oh it's this hot. We don't want to heat the whole house up by turning on the oven when it's already hot as hell do, in here. Do you, do you understand how an oven works? Does he, what? what? Oh my God, man. What does this come from? How can you think like this? Who thinks I, I like have, this? I have no idea. And, and. To not use the oven because it, you have a whole house, right? Like it's gonna just make it excruciating. Yeah. At one point, I was running a three D printer right behind me at three hundred degrees Celsius, <laughs> and like it just it had to be what it had to be. But he can't yeah. even make dinner; it's too hot. Come on, man. I've heard of that happening when you have a literal one room apartment and you have a, a oven in there, and some people said, "Okay, it gets a little hot in that area." 
But still, they never even stopped using the oven. They said it can get hot in the kitchen. But he has a full-style house with two floors. It's too hot for that? Oh, my God. All right, big ups, Danny. DAK says, I got to get the membership from Argentina on his channel. Want me to say something for you after to get him pissed? No, no, no. The goal is not to get him pissed. The goal is to get more questions out. That's, that's the goal, Danny. So if you want to ask him about how he takes care of his personal records or what's the deal with all the themed web, uh, restaurants, these those are good. So we don't want to heat the whole house up. Dave comes like, we can't make them. We got to make house stove top meals house. while it's this hot. Dude, we don't want to heat the yeah. whole house up by turning on the oven when it's already hot as hell in here. So this is the same guy who says that his office is 20 degrees warmer than Gumbo the rest of the house. or curry? Not good curry. Gumbo or uh, beef, Japanese beef bowl. Oh, we'll see. Gumbo. I What's love that. What's up, next shooter? I'm good. Oh, uh, well, I'm cooling down now, but I'm good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> My I'm God. Cooling down. Not great. I'm about five degrees hotter than I'd like to be, but okay. Starting to perspire. Uh -huh. I'm, not, I'm not really feeling it. Uh, and no one's, everyone's already checked out. You can start the game now. <sighs> My oven heat up. Please, yes, maybe, ovens maybe. heat up your house. Ov whenever you have no. the oven on it, it heats the ambient temperature oh. of your home. Of course. <laughs> oh, no, it, right? dude. Dude, please don't stop. Don't stop. All right, you're into this troll right now. Uh, That's a quick one. Asking questions about the oven. Get the fuck out of here. Don't drop it. Don't not drop the oven. No, you don't want to get banned. I'm not telling you, you're not going to get banned if you ask about the oven. He's already shown to cut off one head because of the oven questions. Don't do it. Don't waste your SOK accounts. Oh, man. Is my oven tied into the air ducts? No. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, that was, a, that was a good one. Oven that was a good one. Funny. You know, do have a exhaust fan above it? Oh. And he doesn't even understand. Stop cooking. No. no, it doesn't really help with the ambient temperature going up with the oven. <laughs> Uh, we occasionally clean the oven. Yeah, we occasionally clean it. I think we cleaned it within the last few months, actually. Yeah, we clean the Happy oven Saturday sometimes. Day. You and me. <laughs> uh, have I seen Day of the Dead 1985? Yes. I saw all of all the of the dead movies. I'm oh, pretty cool. sure. Oh, It was what? Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead. Um, What's House the one after of the Day dead. of the Dead? I can't remember. Then there's Land of the Dead. And of the Dead. Diary Steve, of the Steve Dead. Steve of the Dead. I've seen like all of yeah. those. All the dead. If there's anything after Diary of the Dead, I probably didn't Living see Living Dead it. Girl. What else is there? <laughs> dead. Dead, dead. Dead Dead Skin Mask. Ack of the Dead. Shack of the Dead. Uh, Shack Chan of the Dead, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Channel Chargers of the Dead. Says, so nice. Revenge of the Sith is the best Star Wars movie. Do you agree? No. The original trilogy is better than Revenge of the Sith. Uh, the question was your favorite movie. Sorry about that. So could you say that? Right on time, <laughs> Robo Steve. Nice hey. pull. Crazed Dragged Queen Gordon says she must really she must smell really bad when she sweats. Hey. I don't know who you're talking about. Maybe you're talking about Leanna. I don't think she does. I bet she smells Oh uh uh <laughs> That's what Atlas thinks, at least. Atlas is a yep, Leanna Yep, sounds sim. good. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. He is <laughs> thanks for, thanks for taking my answer. Confirmed. I was just caught off guard, you stole. <laughs> oh, nice, Danny. Yep, they're they're advertising MLB. Oh, it's on Game Pass, so I wouldn't have to to buy it. Danny is attempting behind enemy lines with this with the supporter from Argentina. Like, what's the deal with the theme restaurants lately? It says buy to play now, but it's on Game Pass, so why would you buy it? Oh, the because the digital, digital deluxe, deluxe edition oh, is sorry, available I'm now. The Game Pass edition must be coming out later. And we got Super Oh, fill. they're doing that little early access thing, right? Probably. Looking at his menus. That's probably what it is. All right, can How we get hot to the was game it there now? today, asked Turtle Dude? 75 degrees outside. Oh! Which oh means my in God. this office when the 75? Well, that's basically the center of hell. The center of the earth. <laughs> 75 degrees. Whoa! Close to the sun, really. <laughs> it was beating on the office wall. It was anywhere between 85 to 95 degrees. That's Whoa! how hot this office gets. I don't think it was 95. I would say probably Jesus. around 85 because I was hot <laughs> and sweating. Not only does this like, guy not oh know what cold God. is, he doesn't know what <laughs> heat is either. That's insane. Between 85 and 95. Right. Huh? Terrible oven feeling. And that's oven. a good thing because today's the hottest day. It's going to cool down ovens. every day. Not after today, so I got past the worst of it already.
Uh-huh. Turn on the oven, please. Hot. DNA did a super chat. Says, if a fan sent you a hat or a shirt, would you make it a tip goal? It would depend on what the hat or the shirt is. People have done that before. Some of the hats that I actually wear are donated by viewers. So uh -huh. if you're interested, right. email me at darksidefillahotmail.com. You want to give me free shit? Specifics. Let me know I beforehand. Sure something that I would Do not use just not. send it. Someone just sends me stuff, and I don't, I'm not going to use it. It just sits around because that obviously would be a waste of your time and money and, you know, not All worth right. it. Uh, so let's chat if Ooh. you're interested. All right. Happy? Lucky Gremlin says you need insulation for the office. The insulation, or the way these homes were built, <laughs> all right, these were built in the 1990s. All the homes in my community were built in the 1990s. In the 1990s, it was cooler. The climate wasn't as hot as it is today, you know, what, yeah, 30 years I, later? I, I'm not exactly a construction so, style, but everything he actually, says about this just doesn't sound no. right. He acts like he's living in, like, a shack that has no insulation. Or <laughs> When you start a fire, it just spreads throughout the whole house. When you start the oven up, it's like, man... <laughs> yeah, my house was born, a born was made yeah. after his, and I don't yeah. have these weird heat issues, and you it gets much oven. hotter. You turn on the oven, you better run away, because it's going to heat up the whole <laughs> fucking basically house. basically blow up the house. Uh -huh. For insulation in the winter. Ah. So they're meant that if you keep heat in them, oh. they trap the heat. So you turn oh. on your heat, and you can turn it off, and it'll keep the heat in your building during the winter, so you don't have to keep your hat heat on constantly. They're literally yeah. meant to trap not oh. to cool the central air doesn't even well there is no central air the vent ventilation system doesn't even reach the extremities of the home like it's hard to get air to blow like the fingers to my room here or to to the other end of uh, that room over there <laughs> it's too far away from the the you know the uh furnace downstairs so this is the guy who can't put up curtains in his own house telling mm. you how yeah all right thank you he's he, he just coping really now because that. i think he realized he said something fucking stupid about the he, he doesn't know about how heat works, and his chat kind of knows that, so they're kind of asking a lot of heat questions, which is very smart. So we're going to see how many times he's going to have to explain away this heat, this pesky heat issue he has. Because chat now is kind of asking about it, rightfully so, LARP. Uh, Big O's Vikes, by the way, says, Maybe one day we'll get desperate enough for $10 chair sniffs of Cat's chair. Lord knows one of these two streamers would indulge for... Oh, God, come on. I would not sniff any chair... Of anybody, cat or otherwise, <laughs> uh, it's very hard to get oh, this. It depends on how much money is on the table. Y'all know what's up. We're oh, hustling. Yeah, I mean, there's a limit. <laughs> there, if you got a certain amount, I would do it. <laughs> Big ups again to uh, Crazed Drag Queen. Says insulation still helps with cold weather. Absolutely yes, but no, he's acting like insulation only helps one way, which is it's for winter, as you can hear. I run the house as he was too cheap to add a climate control system. Yep, don't need that. Like, it's cr crazy to me that he would not, when he had, could live anywhere in the fucking world, and he had, I mean, he lived somewhere with central air in Connecticut, how would you move to a house that doesn't have that? Oh, it's like a better system. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not living anywhere without central heating anymore. I miss, I'm done with it. I, I, I thought that air. when I bought my house, yeah. I, I, uh, because we didn't have central air my entire life. I moved out, moved into an apartment, I had yeah. central air. I was like, oh, this is nice. And I bought my house. I was like, I'm never living without this again. You yes. can't make me. I'll do whatever I need to do. Let me tell you, that was legitimately a reason why I left Japan too, is because they don't have central air anywhere. Uh, and, uh, when you, it, it just, it, I was tired of walking in the winter, walking inside, and it, it's as cold as it is outside, inside. And that's that. That was a big reason why I left Japan because I was tired of it. I was tired of ten years of I want to die when you take a shower in the winter. So when I moved back, I said I'm getting a place with central air. <laughs> so that's why I, that's why I chose it. But uh, Philip uh, didn't seem to get the memo on that. Let's get to it. We're we're building up skip juice nicely here downstairs. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the plan. That, Intentional uh, style. It's very hard <laughs> to get this place to cool at all. Like, uh -huh. I, when I first moved in, I talked to, well, we had a guy come to service our furnace when I first moved in, and he literally looked at it and said, so you're aware that this, this furnace hasn't been serviced in, like, you know, 15 uh plus years? And I was like, no, I didn't know that. I'm just moving. Another thing you would figure out before you moved into somewhere, but okay. Goes, yeah, well, it's part of the inspection. Uh-huh. Uh, and remember that they, even in addition to the, clearly, uh, this AC issue. Water damage was literally on his house. No one knew it. No one said anything. And he his first time he saw it was when he moved in. Water damage. Imagine that. 
all out change the field yeah. order damage didn't, he, that, didn't yeah. he get the extra super special inspections though he, and whatever he said he, he said that but that's like how could that be the case if they, they would find water yeah. damage? That's that, well, that's my question because yeah. I, I don't know. I didn't know if I was misremembering, but no, I swear. He said, that, yeah. he said that is the key point. He said that. Filters or whatever. And I was said, you know, I'm curious. I was what said. What if I were to buy an air conditioner for my home, like a central air air conditioner? Would it work? He said, well, allow me to look. And he went under into the ducts under the house. <laughs> and then he looked at all the ductwork in the house. He said, no. If you buy yeah, an air conditioner, right, right. It he work. said no. He said Can't no happen. again. This is a reason I can stay lazy and not pay for anything. Because the way this house was built, it's not meant to distribute that kind of air. You would have okay. to redo the ductwork in your home okay. to get cool air to right. distribute in your home because your right, home is, right, a, right. is a heat insulating home. That's it. That's how they built them. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> those heat insulating ho homes. Is, what kind of style of house do you have? I have a heat insulating home. Oh. It, it's on all the documents during the buying process. Uh, they tell uh, you it 900 times, just like everything else. You check. You, you have the check box. The heat insulating, cool insulating, or uh, normal. Oh, got it, got it. It's, it's, it's right different. next to there a number no of bedrooms heat. and square <laughs> uh, footage. Yes. Uh, need, or excuse me, there was no cool needed. It was ah. always cool. Like, this area of the country, Washington State, was known as the coolest, most moderate part where you wouldn't have hot summers. And people Come used to complain, all oh, this rain all the time. It's, it's always cool here. We don't like that. We want a place this with hotter is, weather. Yeah. So I move here, and hot then it summer. gets hot, you know? Oh, my so God. Anyway, um, yes, you were the catalyst. You changed the literal t climate <laughs> of that area. Now it's all hot. The what? Heat, the heat followed him, dude. Uh -huh. What? Heat, dude, huh? Yeah, basically, uh, the insulation is for heat. Uh, keeping it in. It's not to keep heat out. Or oh. anything like that. Yes, so that's that's definitely uh huh. Why? Yeah, that's it's how it so, works. That's, that's how it works, dude. Yep, yep. How they were built. Ah. Uh. How many shoes of Ball J three do I still think we have? Tons. What are we doing here? Why aren't we playing the game yet? Yeah, After the Cazador quest line, we have the Shadowheart quest line. After the Shadowheart quest No tips to worry about. That part's clear. <laughs> there has been no tips yet. I'll tell you that. We have the final will quest line. After the final will quest line, then we have to take Get out the Oren BS. And, Just beg for uh, what you want to beg for. Or wherever the fuck Definitely the guy's name Mickey is. Four. After both of those, then but we have both. to make final end game choices. Then I guess we have to go to the finale. Six so, you know, Scout this is going to be streams Jane. and streams and streams McMahon. because the nice. fucking game has too much content in the third act. You know, uh, definitely. It's just going to go on forever. Hello. Yeah, exactly. Turtle Dude says his is like a brick, brick oven where he lives because it's a brick house. This is like a like clay a oven. Seriously, this house is like a clay oven. It's like where a clay oven. There's heat beating on this wall. Uh -huh. Oh my this God. It's like, like a clay oven. This poor man. Heat. It's a clay and I can't oven. Open the door because the house is too <laughs> echoey. My, my, you know, my family would just hear my booming voice throughout the house. My as family. I do commentary. But I just got you would think he lives family. in a family. Jasper he would think he lives annoyed. in a primitive age, dude. <laughs> the way he describes this house. Jasper to get pissed from his screaming. <laughs> Jasper! Sorry about that, Jasper. I was playing Street Fighter. We got a little heated in there. <laughs> my, you know, my family would just hear my booming voice throughout the house as I do commentary. Uh, but I just you have one family you. member, sir, <clears throat> That's that would care. Your other family member would let you pretty much do whatever you want. I like the song in the want. House of Hope. I mean, it was okay, but it's kind of... I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm, I'll be honest. It's kind of anticlimactic. All of this because everyone's like, "Oh, you're in the end game. You're gonna have the hardest fights." So first, oh what god, was it? come on! Ago, I did the fight against the tribunal, the balls tribunal or whatever. Okay. Balls. What kind of tribunal is it? What's the little literal answer of that? What is he trying to say here? It sounds like balls, but oh, bowels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it bowels? B o w e l. A week ago, I did the fight against the tribunal, the balls tribunal or whatever. Oh, balls, B A A L. Is that what he's trying to say? The balls. And it tribunal. was challenging, but I figured it oh, out, ball. and I kicked okay, his ass on it. the first try. I figured out how to uh, negate the balls, balls. And, the boss hat, balls. and I whooped his ass. And everyone was like, "That was good. You use your, you know, your yeah, thinking. great job. You Here's the, the gold game star. You thought the game, you beat it. Good stuff. Thought the, Today's supposed the to be game. The, one of the big three. Like they said, there's three big bosses in the game, and the boss fight against Raphael. I love three big bosses. Two uh -huh. big, big bills. Three, three big I balls. I spanked him. <laughs> <Bowels>. I literally <laughs> bent him over, pulled his pants down, and I slapped his demon ass oh, for like 20 minutes. My, oh. I, could... I love boobs, by the way. I definitely love. A lot boobs. of spanking going on I today. I love boobs and girls. Eight guys. I love. I'm definitely heterosexual. Didn't even do anything. He j he was slipping and doing comedy pratfalls the whole fight. And I was right? like, I thought this was supposed to be a big baddie, like one of the big three. Like this guy's a puss. I get, I definitely get laid by my wife. So it's like, 
Huh? All the prep that I did, you know, for the game, I guess I really paid attention. He's also attention calling him a big baddie. That's a little builds. sus big if you baddie. ask me. He's a big baddie. <laughs> I thought he was a big baddie. <laughs> baddie. He, is, he said he's a baddie. That's what's up. <laughs> uh, baddie, definitely. But, like, it's playing an epic song where he's singing all badass and everything. And here I am. And here he goes, whoops. And he's slipping. Whoops. Oh, I can't get up. Whoops. Every turn, he's just falling. Whoops. So he can't do anything. And I just, I whooped him. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like, supposed to be epic, an epic boss. Show him who's boss, spanked, dude. You know? Yeah. What'd you do Thank afterwards? Bare ass. Uh, what'd you do next? <laughs> uh, DC, how's it going? He says Star Wars Battle from Francis Collection. I'm sorry about that. You spent money on a half baked game. Yeah, it's not even done. You're absolutely right. That's that's a great way to describe yeah, it. It's a half great way, dude. collection. They never finished it because yep. it definitely doesn't play well. See any of that it's gameplay? Shit, so no, I did not. I was miserable. It was so bad. Fear Monarch, of course. Like you I never played it. I bought it. <laughs> I had the house inspected, but you, uh, unless you're uh, actually uh, physically uh, there, uh, 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 there's not much you can do about it. Oh, you know? no one's uh, gonna know this stuff uh, until you're kind of uh, uh, kind of like their job to know that. But okay, yeah, you clearly uh. seem to believe this guy that could tell it wasn't cleaned in so long, but yet the inspector they are they are there was no way for them to know. I just want to be clear about the logic on that one. Much you can do about it. Okay. You know? No one's gonna know this stuff uh, until you're kind of already in it. Like for example, oh, oh. the house got inspected, everything's good. I show up and there's water damage in the ceiling. Yeah, we already pointed that out. That's extremely, extremely wrong. And something should have been done right the fuck then if that was the case, but nope, it's still there. Nothing has been done. So I've come to find out the, the roof had been leaking uh -huh. and the fucking people who yep. were, lived here didn't tell anybody. Yeah, I wouldn't tell anybody either if I'm trying to sell my fucking house. That's yeah, what you no get shit. That's, what, <laughs> that's what you get an inspector for. I'd say if you can slip it past scheme and scam, I guess, man. What do you <laughs> that's why you yeah, that's why you get this inspection. What the hell? <laughs> that's probably why they sold it. <laughs> yeah. They loved the house, but they saw the water damage and said, like, all right, let's sell real quick. <laughs> let's get rid of this fast as some dumbass. Big up Jay this piece always been a mark. Yeah, every possible thing possible. Big up Jay Wusso says, Take my money for your suffering of Like a Dragon gameplay. Good luck and Godspeed. Godspeed to us all, sir. They wanted to sell And you never have water damage. House? Huh? And they didn't want to have to do it. Absolutely. With it. That's so a nightmare. Water damage actually sucks ass. And didn't tell anyone that there was yeah. water damage. And then when I moved in within like two months, there was water damage coming through. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then we had to get it fixed. Uh -huh. now, I didn't have to pay for it. But I still oh, had to get it fixed. The roof you know? was fixed, That's yeah. The thing. Unless you're there, you're never going to find that shit. There's nothing you can do about it, you know? Yes, it is illegal, but unless I was going to try to sue the oh, previous yep. owners, because there's a lot of Remember? things they fucked up. My God. They were supposed to clean of course it. He did. If, if Phil, Phil could be a billionaire right now, if he could sue all the people he thinks he should sue, you know? It, it, <laughs> billions. Not millions, billions. You know, he's the and, reason yeah, that it works like that, too. Like, the, the court system and yeah. everybody... <laughs> That's crazy. Jesus. Big up Trent Brown. Imagine being so bothered about getting made fun of for for being bad at games on the internet. You have to you have to brag whenever you beat a hard boss. Uh huh. That's the ones he wants you to sp spread around. Like don't spread around the toxicity. Spread around the good stuff I do. Like beating hard bosses. Yeah. Very cool. Very tough. Yeah. Clean up the garage. They didn't clean up the garage at all. It's a fucking huge mess when oh. I moved in. Fucking oh. decals and I remember what it looked like. Slicks a huge the mess was not it. everywhere oil slicks on the garage floor they didn't clean up anything they were legally bound by contract to do it and they didn't do it if that's the case then you could do something about it and it would not even be a questionable thing because it's they're bound by this contract that you sign without reading philip i'm sure what was i gonna do sue them for i two, like that he says oil and... slick like there's still actual oil there's just uh, a stain on the floor I like there's like no four... liquid left <laughs> i fell three times in those oil slicks whoa <laughs> Watch out, honey. But he's carrying all that trash out to the car. I bet he <laughs> yeah. did, Bozo. Yeah. And try to get a couple thousand bucks out of them. It wouldn't have been worth it. And they oh. knew that. They absolutely knew that. That's why they got away with it. Okay. And so that seems like your problem. Bought the house as what? Well, as you got is. scammed. Act, huh? act, act. Oh, let's see here. <laughs> BB Phil with a $10. Actually, that's a 10 euro super chat saying, oh, is the oh, red fedora in the running today? By the way, I'm not a troll. I just, I'm oh, just after game like play I to your channel because people thought I was one of your trolls, which I'm not. Oh. I, oh, I never I thought know you were that. a troll. Uh, sure, if we hit the hundred dollar tips goal tonight, I'll wear the red fedora. How about that? I'll commit to it. That would be fun. But we okay. almost never right. get support for this game. Just that would be fun. <laughs> Just let you know.
very strange way to start the <laughs> set up the stream here. Nice, nice. <laughs> Big ups to Mickey Thor who says, "Guess he makes the final miss the final walkthrough." I guess so, because I remember when I had the final walkthrough, they do everything. You got to check the closets. You got to check everything. You can't miss water damage. You have a, you no. know. But I guess he was probably still on the East Coast for the wall, final walkthrough. Probably that's probably why he didn't do it. I'm guessing. But yeah, he he had. To be. I think that's what he meant when he kept saying like, "When you're not there, like he just was on the other side of the country still." Yeah, it's like, well, that's your fault then. But all right, it's like this is kind of my to me. That pleasure. seems like something you would go and make sure about before you buy uh -huh. a house or biggest, whatever. Biggest in a, on the other side of the life. country, you you go. All his savings gone for that down payment. You make sure you do it, dude. It's a couple hundred bucks for a trip across country. Air, you know, air flight for a day, but all right. Chill stream game. Uh, we rare, rarely get big support for this. So I wouldn't expect to get $100 in tips on tonight's stream, just being honest. <laughs> if you are I interested, we do feel and trying to work towards that. <laughs> you have to tip me. I, you're doing super chats right now, which are great. They help uh -oh. a lot. But tipping is oh what we have goals uh -oh. attached to. And you have to tip by typing exclamation point tip into the chat. Hit, hit. Speaking of the, of the devil here. Not Just Raphael, said earlier. I received a dollar tip from Better Too Call Too many Darth tips Maul. on BG3. Not enough super chats. <laughs> yep. What do you think about TikTok being... Oh, yeah. By the way, yeah, he only did 5% down payment. Right. Yep. And I bet... I bet he's still paying for that fucking... And what's the other thing you got to pay if you don't do 20% down payment? I forget what it's called. But you got to pay extra shit. If you don't do 20%. Given an ultimate and it's about every month style thing, too. Or the U.S. The government yeah. to sell the American division or to, or, or to the U.S. Air? I don't care. I don't PMI, care anything about TikTok or what the fuck they do. If okay. they're spying on Americans, yep. I don't give a shit. Uh, that tip doesn't count, though. We wait till gameplay, everybody. Better call for Darth safe. Maul. That wall. Yeah, better if you want to call, call it safe. Sure, Darth sure, sure. It's still there safe. The first tip of the day. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Oh, there's Danny. All right. Pop, let's see. Any? Uh, uh oh. Danny yeah. the DK, thank you for six months as a, as a channel member. I appreciate that. Uh, what about his comment? Okay, we gotta get started, guys. I didn't even what realize. What about his comment? Oh, oh my god. He knows. He knows. Theme restaurants might be impossible, bros. That's not gonna happen. Damn. <laughs> you guys straight up ignored. Thanks for your membership. <laughs> Big ups, JE5150 says, will DSP leave all the styrofoam and bags of cat litter in the garage for the next guy? Oh, God, yeah. Can you imagine? Same people did this to me. I'm doing the same thing to you. Fuck it. Oh, my God. I'm clean what up an shit. Asshole. Assholes. <clears throat> oh, oh, we're fine. All right, gameplay. All right. Not yet. Ugh. 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 Excuse Ugh. me. CCA, thank you for six months of membership. I appreciate you re-upping your membership and supporting the channel. Get help, CCA. Get right. help, guys. All story tonight. My focus is story. Oh is god! Story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! We're in trouble. We get to kind of the point of no return. Then we we'll are in trouble. Side content, but for now, code we're doing story. Code warning. Code bad. Code bad right now. Only story. Okay. Code fucking story. God damn it. Hello, everyone. Good evening, and welcome back to Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Last you time love this story, ALT. What are you right talking about? Oh, my God. Your favorite bar. Ow, dude. Over here He's going to be asleep. How long is he going to last? Unlock the optional dungeon <laughs> here in... Uh, Holy shit, man. The Jincho? The Jincho, right? The Jincho, yep. The Jincho. Nailed so. it. Yep. Shout out to the Jincho. The Jincho. Um, so Shout out the like Jincho. Oh, yeah. Is there's one conversation here that I'm probably due. Uh -huh. And maybe we'll eat some food, and then we're gonna do the next story <laughs> Get a bite to eat. mission. Like we're gonna really focus heavily on story developments. Get a bite you know, to eat. The thing they did last time forward. where they got a bite to eat. Talking about the food. Yeah, for yeah. Now. We likely will have. Oh god, keep some story oh yeah, I forgot about that. Streams. I love this to you. I love taco <laughs> yaki because now, it's really it's, it's also hot and uh, the batter is delicious. Yeah, I also love it. I love octopus. So fucking dumb. Like this writing. Zao, we just recruited. It's definitely like, strange, nine, strange style. Uh -huh. <laughs> so now we auto kill level 28. Damn, what level are we? No, listen, he never found the secret we? room either. I know, he never found the didn't work. That's a hard, That's a hard game to play. I didn't even realize that we were that high up. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. All right, now we're officially uh, started. By the way, next next tier, we're out. Twenty-five months as a member says we need Elden okay, Ring officially DLC started already. Oh, it's coming. 
Jesus, I still don't trust his Shitose, so watch your six. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like now the plot's been revealed that your shit. that she was uh, that v VTuber all along, but she claims she was being blackmailed into it. We didn't get the full story. Oh, I guess we'll get the full story the plot. later. But uh, for now, we're back with the, the, the Japan, Japan crew here. Uh -huh, the Japan crew, dude. All been snatched up already. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 20 minutes, 20 minutes of, of, of skip juice built up. That's pretty good. Derek, yeah. 19 months of the member since Rod Roddy was also on Pressure Love. Oh, uh, I think I I do kind of remember that, but I always remember Rod Roddy from... Thanks, Derek. Rod Roddy was on Pressure Luck? Ow. All right, that was a rainbow geode, which we need. Remember, Rod Roddy. I don't need, items I even know that is. Rod, Rowdy Roddy Piper? I know that's him. He was, oh, that's oh, the guy? Yeah, I guess so. We already went there. The oh, there's another style. conversation. Who's the real winner? French food we had at this one place a while back was fantastic. Oh, must be nice to be rich and eat like that whenever you want. Oh, yeah. Uh, you sound uh, jealous. All right, well, we're going. We're jumping for. I definitely am. All right, one. So let's I go. I probably get 50 bat out of the time. So maybe I am jealous, but it's not like I think less of myself. <laughs> this whole time, I knew was something I've kept a heart ever since. <laughs> the rich pay for my social, so who's really coming out on top? How about that? <sighs> Oh, man's got a this this oh, this fucking when you said social, I'm assuming he means like a social welfare program. Like you're on welfare. No, this game rules. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. And it's the rich people who pay taxes. Who basically are people love this. Welfare. This is the highest selling true. one. In the United States, most rich people find ways around paying taxes, like everyone else. So in reality, the middle class. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, boys. We got some social commentary here. Here we go. Welfare for free, and it's the rich people who pay taxes who basically are paying for your welfare. Although, that's not true, uh -oh. because in the United States, most rich people find ways around paying taxes like everyone else. So in reality, Ooh. the middle class actually holds the burden for all those social programs, not the rich. But that's something for in the future when perhaps I do politics on YouTube or somewhere oh. else. We're not going to get into that tonight. <laughs> I, yeah, could you? I want to hear how he's going to go deep with that comment. You know, let's hear the more details of that, please, Philip. Explain further, please, Philip. And let's see where he goes with that. Like, you know all his takes are that literal level one, you know? Like, that's it. Yep, that's it. He has nothing that's else to say. Had. Yeah, it's over now, you know? His comment is over. How are we going to go deeper with that, Philip? Let yeah, me hear he, it. He ends the segment every single time with, but that's a different story. Yeah, yeah. Back to the topic. Well, like, he's never, that's it. Anyways, next question. Oh, what's up, Jade? How's it going? You're asking about the favorite Disney movie. Yeah, well, that's just DSP politics. We don't answer those stupid questions here, Jade, okay? Uh, Jade, we've not seen Godzilla here yet in the game. But maybe he is here. <laughs> that is kind of weird. Oh, the timing! The timing tonight is on fire, dude. We are You're killing right it. Here. Oh my god. <laughs> Politics on the Snortex has tapped into your else. brain yes. something fierce. I'm on fire. <laughs> uh, Jade, we've not seen Godzilla here yet in the game, but maybe he is here. <laughs> that's that's Jade. That is kind of weird. You, re you realize they've never Jade. had a, like, a major Godzilla <laughs> reference at all in Like a Dragon? Yeah, that's true. You would think it's just one part of Japan, dude. Culture. They have a million thousand fucking things from our culture. Is that what he's going with here? It's crazy they haven't mentioned Godzilla yet in a Japanese game, huh? <laughs> that's what he's saying. That, is that crazy? Yeah. Out of all the things going on in Japan? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what? Like a major Godzilla reference at all in Like a Dragon? Yeah. That's true. You yeah, think so with all wild. this Japanese culture reference in these games, it would eventually You're have in a Japan. reference to like Godzilla, and they've never done that. Yeah. In, it's not Japanese culture references when you're in Japan. What? One more conversation. It's, it's just the, the culture. <laughs> what? What the Shun fuck is going on? I wonder, oh, I wonder if he feels that way when he plays a game set in America. Yo, He's like, there's no bro. Marvel superheroes anywhere. Yeah, you would think huh? that. Yeah. Uh, I was playing GTA forever, and like, there's no... Uh, well, I'm trying to think of a good reference that would be, because there has been a lot of references. But still, it's like just picking a random one and saying, like, why haven't they mentioned that, huh? All right. <laughs> Like, uh, big ups to, uh, big ups to Wesley in the house says, man, who doesn't understand currency exchange rates wants other people to believe he understands taxes and welfare. Oh, definitely. He knows about everything finance, dude. He's a finance major, but your Argentina, uh, uh memberships are fucking fake. Crossword app. Yep. Forgot yep. the deadline. Yep. Not Sweet real money. Uh -huh. Like Canadian Those dollars. Not real. Papers. Oh, they're illegitimate, yeah, they're aren't they? Consider that they're illegitimate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Illegitimate is the proper word. <laughs> oh, gotta be ramen. What's the prize if you win? Well, let's see, huh? A year's supply of bean sprouts. Bean sprouts? I doubt those uh, sprouts would last a whole year. Right? <laughs> yeah, no way. So if I win, I'll have to hold no. a bean sprout bonanza at my restaurant. 
Your frustration makes me laugh. All right. You saw that little random conversation happening in front of me. Wait, we gotta play the sound game. We gotta wait till we're live time for that though. We don't have any skip juice left. All right, we're gonna head to the Siri Plan Warehouse. Let's do it. That's a live time game. That's to distract us from the fact we don't have skip juice. Yep. I can't wait to get my hands on this crew. But he has no idea one of these babes, the queen of Gomichu herself. Ah, ignorance will do you in like that. Kurosan, I don't see how she wrote anything. The whole thing was a setup. If anything, he's deep inside the warehouse. Here's the plan. Oh, oh man. Oh, God, look at him bobbing. He's bobbing. Oh, God. He is wiggling. He's bobbing. Watch out, folks. He's wobbling. You guys cannot hear any audio coming out of these headphones anymore, correct? I can hear a lot. I put in the last week. I hear the neck phones. Fuck, by the count. I can hear them. I can hear the neck phones. It's too much. I didn't realize that would help that much, but this is tremendous. Like certain games, I'll be able to hear a lot better now because I used to keep my neck phone volume down because the microphone would pick it up, but now it shouldn't anymore. You guys are not hearing any echo. So the music is too loud. I'm hearing it. Like, yeah. I received a dollar tip. Hey, we're done. We are done. We're done. Oh my God. We're done. Mainly. That's Quick. crazy. So here we go. Gotta, we gotta in and out tonight, it. boys. We gotta respect respect the bit. We gotta respect the bit. All the burden is just at the smart. Did it. Let's, hey, hear, let's hear the let's hear the chat. Come on. From better call Darth Maul, the middle class doesn't hold all the burden. It's just that the smart people pay capital gains tax mainly. <laughs> so here we go. We're not going to get to a political discussion. Here we go. Here. It, we was, it was that but fucking you the dented tip. comment that got it. <laughs> Big ups, everybody. You're all fucking legends. That is it. Uh, remember, I told you, I don't know if you heard earlier, Atlas is going to be on that being said tomorrow. So that Atlas fun does not end. We'll see you tomorrow again. And you're also doing the React tomorrow, too, right? Yeah, it never ends for me. Hell yeah. yeah. Doing, I'm doing both. Hell yeah. Hell of a good show. And tomorrow, by the way, on that being said, it's going to be the interview special. So we're going to, you know, do a lot of interview fun. Uh, but you're all legends. And w the WPIG will be live 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll get you ready for that being said. See ya tomorrow, my friends. We're all legends. Don't forget it. See you next time. Bye.